Praise be the lamp. The lamp illuminates our path, the path we shall not stray from. What be be our guide? No Lumen. Line. One swing ahead of the sword. I steal only what I can't afford. That's everything. One jump ahead of the lawman. That's all, and that's no joke. These guys don't appreciate I'm broke. Just a little snack, guys. Rip it open, take it back, guys. I can take a hint, gotta face the facts. You're my only friend, Abu. You know, I I fucked up conditioning you guys because 
The amount of you that assumed I was about to walk out in a full turban on a baby. camel just because I played this song. I'm just in an Aladdin mood, bro. I blew a kiss at you today and so many movie. people were like just Didn't so ready so for it to be like, oh shit, he's coming in with a vest. He's gonna he's gonna Very crash a plane into the stream. Oh, it's an Arabic couch, every like, bro. I'm just it just I just had that what part was where it's like, gotta do one job, better than ten. Three years. I just had that in my head. I have a child now and feels weird. Time to grow her old. In a fez, I'm a little monkey. Much faster. Hey, Wubby, to oh, answer I your the question song. Sorry, as to if the original bus story was real or not. Oh, my God. I don't care. It was very real. I don't, I, I don't care. I don't care. I just can't care. script this Less shit. Moment okay. of silence for fat boys who get laughed at on the bus. Who even rides the bus? I, I'm, I'll, just, I'll just not go where I need to go if my option is the bus. Sorry. You do? Okay. The pores do? Can I tell you the reality, though? It's not even the pores. It there's like in San Diego, bus ain't ain't a very good option. I remember when I first went to New York for the first time, I was like, public transportation? But it's like you I remember cuz where I grew up, there is no bus. There is no bus stop. There is no option to be poor on the bus. If you can't get a ride or ride a bike or walk, you're not getting there. There's effectively no usable bus system here. Dude, public transportation in San Diego just d is not a thing. Can we finish the song? I blame parents except he hasn't gone home. Gotta eat to live, gotta still to eat. Tell you all about it when I got the time. One jump ahead of the slow pokes. One skip. That's the part. That's the part Next that I don't. That's the part. One. <laughs> One jump ahead of the hit man. One hit ahead of the flock. I think I'll take a stroll around the block. Stop the fat Let's not be too hasty. Not yeah, so fast, yeah. you. Gotta eat to live, gotta steal to eat, otherwise we'd get along. Skip! One jump ahead of the hoofbeats, one hop ahead of the hump, one trick ahead of disaster. They're quick, but I'm much faster. Here goes, better throw my hand in, wish me happy landing. All I gotta do is jump! And he did not survive that fall. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the bad ending. No, the, the bad ending is he got caught and he, and poor Aladdin in the streets of Abu Dhabi do got his little left hand chopped off. Dwayne here, thank you and, and fuck and you, Wubby, for getting me thank into you. WoW. I got you. You're welcome. And as the princess rode by, he pointed his little bloody stub at her. Love me! And she, ooh, she got scared. She tells her dad, a homeless man stared at me today. And that's why you stay in the walls, daughter. And that's that's the real Aladdin. That's what they did. Hello, everybody. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well. It's the real ending. We have, uh, well, we got a lot to look at, a lot of yap about, a lot of content announcements coming up. I know you guys like when I announce upcoming streams in advance, so you guys can choose to not watch. It's my favorite part about it, too. Thank you to Faye Fireworld for the five subs. Before stream started, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. And t t t t Trevoka Timmy, thank you. T hey, well, you're doing yeah. well. Just wanted to say thank yeah. you for all the times thank you. you've made us laugh. Love yeah. you. Love the crew and love the stream. Yeah. Here Keep it comes. It up. Also, shout out Ohio Here Frogs comes. in chat for legalizing weed yesterday. Wait, what? Someone get Nora to the hospital. Yo, what? This bitch's teeth just fell out. Yo, what? Really? That's crazy. Good for Ohio. What does that mean, though, that it's legal now? Like, how legal is legal in Ohio now? Because I, I hear that, like, they say it's legal, and then it's still a whole pain in the ass to get it. Full-blown recreational. Yo! Do you guys have speedy, weedy delivery now? 
Yo, you can grow it! Let's fucking go. Professor Paradox! Thank you for the five, brother. It does blow my mind. I got friends in different states. I got friends in all over, uh, many states. I have uh, many friends. I'm, a lot of them black, believe it or not. But I got a lot of friends in a lot of states. Most of them black. Hell. Uh, I got friends in many states. And, and it's crazy to hear, like, sometimes they'll come visit me. They're black. And they'll come visit me. And, um, and they'll be like, oh, I'm coming to California. I could smoke weed. And I'm like, that's a novelty to you? It's so available here. I'm bored of it. I'm looking for the next thing. <laughs> Where's weed too? You know what I'm saying? It's so, and, and they're like, no, I, I'm coming to California. I can finally get weed. Like not to say weed isn't available everywhere, but there is, I, there's a lot of people. Ash said no black friends, uh, self-reporting. Uh, I have many, I can name them all. <gasps> now this is where I'm, I'm at a crossroads here, chat. When I say I can name them all, do I give you, <laughs> see, this is where it gets racist now. I'm Leo, Leo, Leo tattoos, how you been? Shout out to the homies and She's black. And what the community is so cute. Jolly Julius, thank you for the five. Sorry, you got. I mean, five is fine, I guess. It's not ten, you know. <laughs> it's not ten. Appreciate it though. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not even gonna name Kenroy. I don't even need to name Kenroy. Why would I name Jolly Julius with ten? There's no way you will gift me subs. A generous. No need to do that. I will make fun of you, ironically. And then you will gift more. That's crazy. All right, topic change. You're right. So we got a lot to talk about tonight. How's everybody doing? I, Dwayne with 20. Dwayne, why? I ruined Dwayne's life. He wasn't playing WoW. I just sent him a DM. I'm like, are you playing WoW? I didn't even follow up with him. I swear to God. Where I did late, not Papa? even follow up. I was up. sad and scared. I didn't even follow up with Dwayne. I just said, are you playing WoW? He then sends me three days of updates of how his life is ruined. All I did was ask. I said, hey, uh, did you, uh, you got into WoW yet? I said nothing else. I was busy. Didn't even check my phone. Man's like, I haven't gotten up. I'm just seeing all these updates come through. I'm like, I'll deal with that later. That's crazy. Uh, Gorgon, Gordon Radio TV. You got to pick one. Thanks for the five. Pick a lane. Okay, can't have them all. Uh, thick Dude. Speaking of Thick Dudes, we're going to do some stuff tonight that might get me banned. And I don't listen. It's, I, listen, man, I, didn't, I really thought a good excuse would come to me in the time between saying listen and the pause. Nothing came to me. Um, but who cares? I did. I was going to go to Alveus with Alex. I got lazy. I'm not going to lie to you. She wanted me to come. And I was like, I really don't want to go to Austin right now. I don't know what it was. I think it was being in Vegas. I don't like, dude, I'm just so black pilled on flying. I really hate it. And I like avoiding it. I'm still gonna. I have more trips planned, but like anytime I can avoid it, it was last minute. She was like, do you want to come? And I was like, ah, so I didn't go. So instead I decided, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. I went to Disneyland and you know what I hate and I'm not mad about. I went to Disneyland yesterday. Okay. And you know what sucks about going to Disneyland yesterday? I came back with goddamn hemorrhoids. I got fucking hemorrhoids in Toontown, bro. And you think, you think I'm lying. I'm not even lying, bro. Let me explain. This is not even a joke. You think I'm playing too? I, I'm so Aladdin pilled. They got the they got fucking Abu shoulder buddy. Prove it. Disney got me mixed up with their Halloween holiday food. It is not okay. So first off, it fell on cheat day, so I was good. I was having a good time. I've never gone for the turkey leg, the big-ass turkey leg at Disney. I'm intimidated by it. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little scared by it. But I did go for something that legitimately has given me a hemorrhoid. What do you mean skill issue? Just can you hear me out first? They have one of my favorite treats at Disney. They have a pretzel that has jalapeno cream cheese on the inside. You can already tell... I'm not equipped to consume this type of food anymore, right? Jalapeno cream cheese on the inside. Then the asshole work in the stand. You can order the Halloween version of it, right? He'll put it into a tub. I swear to God, with a spray bottle, he'll start spraying it with butter. And then they take crumpled up flaming Hot Cheetos. I legit feel like I'm going to shit my pants talking about this. And they pour flaming Hot Cheetos on top of it. Why? I believe it's for the sole purpose of giving human beings hemorrhoids because I ate it 
God, I ate it. God in heaven, I ate it, and I'm not gonna lie. I had two of them, and I don't care who knows. I don't care who knows anymore. I had fucking two of them. <laughs> but, hey, thank you, uh, thank you, Pontus Pilot, for the five subs. Appreciate you, brother. He's so red. I had two. I had two. And a churro. I don't give a fuck. But I found myself walking around Toonville or whatever, you know? And uh, I, I, I gra I, I'm not going to make this a poop story, but long story short, you know, when you're at Disney, every minute is, is money you're spending. And I spent a significant amount of minutes to the point where I was concerned I was wasting my Disney day uh, fighting a toilet, meeting my God, praying to Christ. I got caught up once in the Toontown area and once right next to Indiana Jones. If you guys know, if anyone been to Disney, there's the bathroom right between Indiana Jones and, and Dole Whip stand. You know, if you know, you know. And I was, I hunkered down in there and I, I, this might be too graphic for you guys, but I felt legitimately, I felt the, I felt the hemorrhoid come into existence. You know, we'll leave it at that, actually. I don't want to get too into detail. Toilet tier list for a theme park. I could help you guys. I know all the fucking spots, bro. Oh my god, pop it. What are you, why do you guys live like this, bro? What do you mean, pop it? But did you lose weight? I Yeah, I'm doing great. That place takes the shit out of you. I mean, it's just, it's, 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 it's so fun. I love it. It was really fun. That's vile, pop it on stream. It's a blood vessel. What do you mean pop it? That's what I'm saying. What do they mean pop it? He's kind of in the way. Is that better? I gotta sneeze. What are we doing? Uh, let me thank these subs that came in because you know they mean something to me. Boy, they mean, dude. We gotta talk about the boogie doc. Oh my god, salty Caesar with a ten. Salty. Oh. oh. What you, dad? Hey, son, that's actually what I ate when I shit behind that Honda Accord. Remember to take. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, Salty Caesar. That interruption was not worth it, but thank you. We appreciate the 10. My Grandpa Chalupa. Let me try that again. My Grande Chalupa. Your thank you for the five. has brought me so much joy and, really? and been a constant in my life from high school to my really? dream job in architecture. It's been amazing to see you grow, and I can't wait to see where life takes you. Can I be real with you for a second? I'm going to say this. I won't say much, but I'll, keep, I'll say this. I'll be real with you for a second. I'll say this. <clears throat> And thank you, but like seriously, thank you. <laughs> All right, so what we have a lot to do tonight. We have a lot to get through tonight. I want to get through it. Hank kills propane. Thank you for the five. Be real. I got you, bro. I don't have okay. anything sappy. Just wanted to say gratata, 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 gratata. You don't gotta be hey, sappy. boys, we will be having a little map orgy in Stormwind after stream. Make sure you bring the Luby. I'll be there. I love going to Disney. Wait for me, boys. Wait for me. Friends, Deshaun. DeAndre, to all my Martin, boys grinding Darnell. wow right now, to all my boys grinding wow, I hear you. Pop me up on your second monitor. I will narrate just for you so you don't miss any clicks. I'll give you a quick wow update for those who wondering who are wondering. Foot Daddy, my main in the OnlyFangs guild, is at level 17. He's thriving. He's doing great. He is never going to die. He's going to live forever. Glorgussy died, as you guys know, to a boar. So I made Glorgussy 2, who died at level 7 after I was eating Chipotle and got uh, distracted. And I looked up and there was a stupid fucking, what are they called? Snow leopard killing me. And I went, I'm going to die. And I just took it. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, don't eat and play WoW. Bit of a blunder. I feel like they're supposed to go hand in hand. So then I made Glorg 4 is my new current one. <clears throat> Glorg 4 is in the guild with you guys. Uh, Wubby, what happened to Glorg 3? I'm going to explain what I did in that situation. I skipped over Glorg 3 to try to... So have you ever gambled before? 
There are ways you can trick the universe, right? So every once in a while, make no physical reaction or emotional reaction. Every once in a while, slip a hundred dollar chip in your stack of fives when you're pl fives when you're playing blackjack. Okay, and what you do is you're trying to sneak it in there. Let me explain what I'm doing here. I skipped Glorg 3 and went straight to Glorg 4. So the universe already thinks this is really sounding schizo. So, <laughs> so the universe already thinks Glorg. Gl Universe catch it up with me. So the universe thinks Glorg 3. Let me speak! The universe thinks Glorg 3 is dead. <laughs> Bro, that was that was not a good look to like choke on nothing while trying to schizo explain this. Anyway, the point I'm making is Glorg 4 is is in the guild now. I'm not in psychosis. Bro, this is S-tier copium. We'll see if it's cope! When Glorg 4 is level 60 and the strongest man in all of Azeroth. Why did you leave us in the cave, brother? Because I knew I only had a few minutes left and I didn't want to wait. I, I, used to, I got offline. I had a few minutes to get through a few quests and I had to get offline to prepare for whatever this is, right? What the fuck is this even, huh? What about Glorg 2? Glorg 2 died to a snow leopard today while I was eating Chipotle like, a, like an asshole. Uh, can we stream? Rizzoli, thank you for the five. I see you in the guild. <sighs> anyway. After Glorg 4 dies, you're going straight to... Okay, Do you, think you guys are making... Eat asbestos? That's I autism. You are preparing for Glorg 4's death. Glorg 4 will not die. That will be my final tune in World of Warcraft. No more WoW talk. We're moving on. Wrap it up. Carlos... <clears throat> Hold on, here we go. Mac Mycelium said, Carlos read a lot of my message last night when I was watching him play WoW. Look at this. Okay. That's really cool. That's awesome. That's a day for you. You could ride that uh, high, brother. Welcome to Sports Center Top 10 <clears throat> Glory G Deaths coming in at number 10. Shut up. That was me. Uh, Quentin, 25! Listen, I shouldn't ban this guy, but I just like, guys, so many of you. Can I tell you a story? There was a girl. Her name was Christina. And she was tight. Like, cool. We were kids. I'm gonna start the story over. And, and when, when, when the, um, when the Wubby Sleep Aid clips this, let's start the story from right here. Ready? So I'm gonna tell you guys a story, and it's a relation to that guy who just came in my chat and talked about Carlos reading his messages. I don't care, plus you're white. There's a girl named Christina, and, and I loved her. I don't know if her name was Christina, and I don't know if I loved her. <laughs> and I don't know if this, any of the story is real. <laughs> But in, um, I told this before, and so it might change because, you know, stories change. It's like tradition. We're like Native Americans. And. <laughs> hey, hey. Sorry, the cats are getting at it. The cat alone is getting at it by himself. Um, what's happening? Bro, what is what we see? <laughs> Can I just tell this story, please? <laughs> Uh, can you just let me tell it? Guys, I'm just excited to be <laughs> back on stream. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> Not everything I'm doing is making it sound like I got it. But my cats were fighting. Why is everyone acting like that it was crazy? <laughs> yeah. uh, so it was, it was, this is all in relation to that guy coming into chat, talking about something very interesting to him but wouldn't it be interesting to anybody else okay so in school Wubby, they sent our pandas from dc back to china pausing tts in school there was a kid in my class the girl named christina who um was a performer in a play in the local theater and because of that i guess she reached out to the teacher and the teacher her parents and yada yada we got to go on a field trip to go watch this play that she was in and it was really exciting. So we all, the whole class went on a field trip. Any day out of the classroom is super exciting, right? <clears throat> so we go, and it's some bullshit kids theater, whatever. Some bullshit play, whatever. We sit through it. It was fine. Anything's better than school. And as the play's going on, I notice Christina is not in this fucking play at all. Not She's not the main character or the villain or the side character. She's nothing, right? And at one point <clears throat> in one of the sequences of this play, I see her with a little paper in the background walking as an extra pretending to read. She walks from one side of the stage to the other. 
So uh, I very quickly realized she has absolutely nothing going on in this fucking play. And I remember when we were all outside and she came, she came to us, she's in like her little costume and she came to us before saying bye, the whole class. Oh, did you guys see me? My teacher in a very underhanded way was like, yeah, we, we saw you walk by a couple times. And I'll never forget how, ooh, that was like, damn, ooh, God damn. So the point I'm making here is the dude in chat who just came in to tell me that Carlos read his message last night. You're being a real Christina right now. All right, I'm up here, okay? The chat's here. We're singing, I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of my music number. And you know what you just did? You walked back holding the little piece of paper from one side of the stage to the other. Actual Christian, which one's Carlos? Carlos was the opening act, okay? Do, do plays have opening acts? You ever go see like, the Book of Mormon and, and, and I don't know, some small band opens up for it. I don't know. No, whatever. I've never seen, uh, who cares? You just pulled a Kanye? He just pulled a Kanye. I'm also just giving you a hard time. I saw the CEO walk by during TwitchCon. TT, you're being a real Christina right now. Justice for Skeeter. Do you guys even know what you spam half the time? Does it have any meaning? <laughs> well, you're getting one guide. My brother in Christ, at a certain point, you, you need to accept that that's the fucking stream. You are, you, I'm gonna lose my cool. Where's the sticker? This is a new mic. <laughs> this is a new mic, I'm not even lying. Where's Mike? Where's Mike? This is a new mic. Speaking of new mics, hold on, let's get through this real quick. We have so much to get through. If I cut to this, it's just gonna be my feet. Where's my fucking feet? I'll play the donuts. Thank you, Jack Power Slap. I know Jack Power Slap. You gifted five subs, 25 of your hard earned dollars. You gifted five subs for me to say it over a black screen. Cause I know people gift subs and they'll clip the moment I thank them. Well, here's you, and you know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna make it even worse for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide it into Quentin's 25. Both of you guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Give me a second, uh, I'm doing something here. Why is this not showing it? Deactivate, activate. Oh, oh, God. Okay, so there was speculation here because I was missing my New York hat and there was speculation that this hat here is the missing New York hat. So we're going to do a big reveal right now, okay? Dramatic reveal sounds. Okay, and we're going to have to time it because I've never heard the... Druid of Alder! Thank you for the five. Oh, camp. Wow, we're getting hella subs now. All right, I'm gonna, I haven't heard this dramatic reveal sound yet. I just looked it up on YouTube. So we're gonna have to see uh, if I can time this. 16 seconds, when do you think it comes? Oh shit, okay, okay, hold on. So, so let's actually, hold on, there's a video I'm supposed to show here. Riff Rath, Street Rat. Here we go. <clears throat> there's a spider, where? Ladies and gentlemen, it's media share time. Why am I wearing the Columbus, Ohio hat? Two reasons. Reason one, I couldn't find the New York hat. Reason two. I've let it get a little too long, and I'm starting to look like a weird bowl man. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to do a big reveal. There I go floating. There I go. Okay, New York hat. Speculation, huh? Well, let's... I haven't checked. If you notice, it is as close to... I mean, it's not quite the same position, but, uh, you know, things get moved. But I haven't checked yet. You guys ready? I don't think it's the right hat because that buckle does not look correct. So we're going to grab it here. Does anyone else do, like, straight up monkey toes every chance they can? I don't like getting my hands dirty. Fuck! All oh, the timing! Fuck! All oh, the timing! Oh god! <laughs> oh, it looks like it! Oh, that's disappointing. That's not it. No, nope, that's my Nike hat. Yeah, that's not it. 
damn those damn look at look at that i got the whole cleft calf hello okay that boy's been lit in the gym hello okay where's that guy been lifting huh it looks like a turkey leg that was mean that was mean <laughs> you have fat guy calves what do you have lonely guy calves like what does this even mean do we just take a label of what's going on in your life oh you look you got a lonely guy face what is Ooh. <laughs> you got some depressed arms what do you want dude Disney turkey like don't bring it back to Disney Stop I'm gonna cry. I'm not talking to you. You were nice to me Turkey leg fat guy calves glorg moment <laughs> Isolated calves I'd like to gnaw on that turkey leg them calves Dude. make me feel feelings. I haven't felt since zip What does that mean? Thank you Ko Kozinski GM. Thank you for that. Thank Damn you boy. Fine, you got an autism butt up how long until the green screen suit is just a tank top? Hey, son, when are you going to do unban requests? I'm tired of my main being banned for Duke All right. reasons. All right, here's yeah. what I'm going to say. Uh, Senor, if you're here, I'll do unban requests this Friday if we can organize it. Okay? If Senor does it. It's up to Senor. He doesn't have to. I'm not telling Chat, him to. I know you guys dropped the ball on Bruce, but I really <clears throat> need you to get those pandas back from China. Hey, guys, what the fuck are you talking about? Saiyan's Jam! 20! Thank you, bro! Christ, bro! Christ! The content announcement there. If Senor organizes the unbanned request, I will do them on Friday. Thank you, Satan's Gym, for the 20. You don't get black screen, thank you. I need to talk about this real quick. There is a growing community of viewers of mine, and I don't know when they thought this became a safe space. I really... I, I almost need to say some fucked up shit to just lose you know a few thousand viewers and bring it back but like we have a there <clears throat> maybe i'm just too maybe i'm just degenerate and open but there is a growing fan base of mine that is just straight up furry fan base i mean it is I, I, every time we put out a cringy drink apparently i'm not mean to furries and apparently i i see where they're coming from too many times but, I mean, it is, it's on the subreddit, it's on Twitter. You're becoming too accepting? I've, listen, I'm just saying sometimes, I get it. Hey, direct deposit, Wobbles, I just got back from Monaco following your glowing recommendation. I just wanted to confirm it was straight booty cheeks, hot, sweaty booty cheeks. Whoever that Nora bitch is glad they've shut the fuck up. What does that mean? Did you just call me direct deposit monocles? What did you call me? The furries got money. Don't piss them off. Well, I mean, look, this is the kind of shit we're dealing with here, guys. They're drawing me as a bear. They keep drawing me as a bear. There's been a... This is like the third or fourth bear fan art in the last week. Bro. It, 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 it. You took the test? I, I know, but... And, and like, there was another, like... That be, Alex and I were criticizing the furry video and apparently I said nice things because I was on this Twitter thread where they were talking about like how it seemed like I was kind of into it. <sighs> you opened Pandora's bat. The Pandora. You opened Pandora the Badger's box? What does that hey, mean, Moody? Hey, Whoopi, did you think that TTS could be used like this? Hey, fat boy at the underscore lumpy underscore hobo. I'm patting my belly to you right now. <laughs> no, I never considered that. You played furry porn last stream. Yeah, and it was graphic. And, and, and listen, I'll say, man, fuck, I'm about to, I'm about to hype him up even more. Here's what I'll say, man. You can't take like a conventional 10. You cannot take like an absolute smoke show of a body put a little bit of fur and some ears on it and act like I'm fucking weird for liking that. You, you, you cannot sit here and be like, no, 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 it's like literally like a supermodel, but she's got ears and some fur. <laughs> oh no, what's happening to me? You know, like, 
fair. That's all I'm saying. And a dick. Usually the fit the furs like in cute areas too, bro. That's copium, bro. Furry kelp. I'm gonna put a swim she's on screen right now. Hold on. Actually, I'm not gonna put up. <laughs> well, I don't even know what I would search. <laughs> Uh, uh, f furry sex cream pie. What is this? Why, why did this autofill? Hold on, I need to see what this is. Hey, Satan, is this what you wanted? The 20 subs is what you wanted to see? <clears throat> Search Subway. You think that'll autofill? Subway furry. No, nothing. Wubby's not into furries, only true bestiality. So weird. Click. <clears throat> Lola Bunny. Lot of autofills for this one. Lot. Uh, does liking Lola Bunny mean I'm hey, a furry? Furries, wouldn't it be hilarious if we had sex like we were a boy and a girl, but like <laughs> we're not? Hmm. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean real quick, because this is the thing, right? But I do think there's a difference between this and being a furry, right? Like, <clears throat> hold on, let me show you something. Let me show <laughs> Man, these are all making me, I'm looking at these right now, and I'm not gonna lie to you. It's kind of, uh, I'm kind of convincing myself that I'm wrong, <laughs> but I don't want to be right. <laughs> hold on, just give me a second. Roxanne, oh, just, just, just hold on, just, uh, Man, hard to find one where she's fully clothed, you know? We're talking about a bunny rabbit here for those who... Do. Okay, look, this is, this, is, this is tasteful. This is tasteful, chat, look. Okay, look, see, this is what I'm saying, right? I'm bricked it, up. That's fine. You have a right to be. I think... Le oh, no, I keep downloading the photo. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, Oh, no, I keep downloading the photo, guys. It keeps downloading. I don't want it to download. <laughs> All right, look, look. <clears throat> I'll hey, Wubby, well, don't look up, yeah. Crinkling. Whatever you do, don't look up, Crinkling. Crinkling? Don't do it. Hey, Wubby, do you know the name of this song? You know it. You've played it before. It goes like this. Dude, wouldn't it be funny if we had sex like we were a furry, but we're not? I'm looking it up. Oh, no. Okay, see, this is making it hard for me. Not my penis, that is. Here, I'll, we'll, okay, we'll go, oh my god, chat, we have so much more to talk about other than furries and diapers, I promise you. I f almost feel like bad that this is where it's gone tonight. <clears throat> what I'm saying is, if this is like, a tr if this is, uh, if this makes me a furry, then... Oh, well, you know, <clears throat> people saying you, what about it is, let me, hold here, I can fix it for you. If there's, there's one thing that might be a problem for you and I can fix it. Oh, now I see it. See, see, real 34 furry isn't what? Is there a nipple? Nope, that's a shadow. That's not a nipple. I've are uh, no no no. That is a shadow, not a nipple, not a nipple. I are listen, boys. I vetted the photo. I vetted the photo, and it's also art. We weren't sexualizing it. Listen, I got a million excuses. Hey, is the, the poop suit guy. <laughs> See you next week, bro. So help me God. So help me God, I will never, no, I can't make a threat. <clears throat> Bro pees on his head. What do you mean? Bro? Oh, wait, you know about that. Did I talk about that? We're not Thank sexualizing God, it. isn't furry porn zip. All right, let's move on. Wasn't her nipple, by the way. They would need to prove what color. What color Lola Bunny's nipples are? Because if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, she has small dark purple nipples, which means that that light brown that was coming in that was absolutely a shadow. 
that was being cast from a from another camera guy's equipment. Can we move on, please? This is getting out of hand. Okay, can we move on? Let's talk about what I gathered everybody here tonight for. All right, crinkling. Now, crinkling was just introduced to me. I'm going to tell you. Dude, wouldn't it be finish. funny if I came over and helped build your bed? Oh, my God. I'm laughing just thinking about it. Crinkling. And I told you I'm polyamorous and kinky as fuck. And we had hot, passionate sex Stop. on your newly Stop. built bed. Do you think, you know, they say don't kink shame, but do you think that, like, legitimately we should watch people who have diaper fetishes? <clears throat> like, I know I'm all for, like, personal, like, everyone should have a right to their own privacy, yada, yada. But I am I will sign off on monitoring someone's uh, search history if they're into this stuff. That includes me. You can monitor it. Give me a mo monitor from a month. I'm not into this shit. I just looked it up. Okay. But I'm just saying, just look, just, just look at them. Just look at them. Diaper fetish or nappy There's fetish. There's a difference between anthropomorphic creatures and furries. Oh, you just self-reported, my brother. Thank you. Okay, uh, there's a type of garment fetish in which a person derives pleasure from wearing or using a diaper. Huh. That's... that's uh, Somebody call me a plumber because I'm ready to lay pipe. I just, before we move off this topic, I do want to ask chat and maybe we can get a poll going because I'm curious. Um... I've said before, my, my opinions on like, <clears throat> like, uh, uh, um, you know, like it's a, it's a nuanced topic, but for me, my, my opinions on like dating someone who's trans, right? It's nuanced. I don't have a solid answer for it, but I've always said this, right? You go on a dream date, everything great, the best ever you get home. She drops trow and she's got a dick bigger than yours. I said this once I said it again, the entire U S army wouldn't be able to pull me off that dick, Right. That's what I'm saying, right? That's really, you can sum up my opinions simply with that, right? You go on a date, beautiful woman, everything's going well. She's making you laugh. You're making her laugh. She's what? She's your type. You get home. She drops trout. Dick bigger than yours. They need the whole Southern California Fire Department to pull me out of that fucking room. All right? So, okay, with that being said, listen, I'm not, it's not based or nothing. I'm just, I'm allowed to have my own preferences, okay? So now hold on. Dear God, don't look up the R A B D L Reddit. Now, now with that in mind, though, okay. Now here, now I know I'm. I fully respect people being like, "Hey, Wubby, that's not my my line is not there. I would not suck that penis. I'd run." Okay, that's fine. You don't have to, right? But here's now my question for you, where I will draw the line. Same date. Close your eyes. What's your dream girl look like? You got her in your mind. Is it me in a wig? Probably. Okay, dream girl. You're at Cheesecake Factory. Okay, you're at Cheesecake Factory. You're overwhelmed by the menu. Do you want Chinese food? Do you want Italian food? You get both. Okay, you get the, the Long Island, you're feeling a little tipsy. This girl, everything's going great. Or guy, everything's going great. You're making her laugh, she's making you laugh. Everything's fun. Maybe you're even holding hands after the first date. This is crazy. She gets in your, your Porsche that you have in this fantasy. You take her back to her place. You find out she's rich. Okay. Oh my God, everything's going well. You can retire from stream because you fucking hate it. Again, this is your fantasy. Long story short, everything you want is in this person, right? She's even like putting out vibes that she wants to hook up tonight. You're putting out vibes. Maybe it's a guy in this case, whatever you're into, right? You go in. She's like, can I slip into something else that I'm like more interested in? She walk, You're like, oh my God, I'm, I'm so right. Remember, we're talking your dream girl or guy. She comes back in in a diaper. Pause. This is real. I'm, I, I want this to be a real poll. She comes back in the room in a diaper. And she has a binky or a num num, whatever you call it. Pacifier there for all the grandpas in chat. Now, real talk, chat. Horsecock I'm, is fucking me. I'm muting these. Now, <laughs> now, real talk. Now, now, not, now, I know, I know. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I know the gut instinct right now is everyone saying, nah, I'm out. Bef stop typing and just listen. You're at, you just went on the best date you've had in six years. She's perfect. He's perfect. She's rich. He's rich. Okay. They come back in in a diaper and a pacifier. What do you do? What do you? Do? And I, I'm serious right now. I'm sitting here. I'm th I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Do you give him your? What is this, Paul? What is this, Paul? Bad Paul, get rid of this, please. Do not. This poll is not. Do you? Do you want? Do you engage or do you leave? Is the poll? What is the? Po do you give him your pacifier? I'm sorry, whatever mod posted that, are you the one coming out in the diaper? What the fuck? <laughs> what? I, I, I'm sorry. 
There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Learn innuendos, Wubby. Maybe I'm retarded. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm screaming at you even though I might be wrong. Do you engage yes or no? Me okay. I am... Pr See, when you make an anonymous, it's not so cut and dry. G boys, everyone in my chat was saying hell no. It's 53 to 47 right now. So to all my diaper lovers in chat, become really rich and attractive, and you got half the population eaten out of the palm of your hand. <clears throat> become attractive. I'm feeling a large amount of chatters don't have regular sex to begin with. Bro, half the chat right out the gate is like, oh my, you want to have sex with me? I'll put on a diaper. Whatever. Yeah, sure. Just, just, you could beat me. I don't care. Yeah, just don't kill me. As long as I can live to remember that we had sex, I'm pretty much okay with anything you'd like to happen here. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'm serious. Do you need me to pay you? I don't normally know how this goes. Okay. Yeah. I'll put on, yeah, I'll type. You want me to shit myself? Sure. I don't get a cum? That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Just don't tell anyone. Zeismic Gaming. Did I say it right? Don't care. Plus, you're white. Thanks for the 10, though. Um, okay, now I need to think about my answer. The poll ended with... Ladies and gentlemen, the poll ended at 54% said no. 46% said yes. Over a, a thousand people. It was, it was a few hundred difference <clears throat> between the two. I'm gonna think about this because this is tough. Baby, it went. Thank you for the five, brother. I ain't into diapers, but 20 is 20. You're not making 20, bro. You're already out for the cost of dinner. I'll be real. Freaks in the shadows. Can I tell you? Can, okay, you want the joke answer? And then I'll give you the real answer. The joke answer is um, depending on how down bad I was, you know, you might just take it and go. A hey, good, good stream story. You know what I'm saying? Right? It's a good story. Uh, oh, let me hold up Warcraft, Sedge. I missed when we were talking about World of Warcraft. Man, this is wow. What are you talking about? Okay, now hold on. It, now I'm going to give you the real answer, and this is kind of a boring answer. If it's my dream girl, right? If it's someone who I said the date went well with, which is what, right? Everything's going great. I should be able to go, you're in a fucking diaper. Can we talk about that for a second? That's crazy. And if it was everything that went well up until that point, they would be cool. I'd be like, hey, what's the deal here? Are you a bit, you want me to treat you like a baby? That's going to be too far. I cannot get an erection. I cannot get an erection. Is this foreplay? Can we leave the diaper at the door when it's my turn? Is this how you get off? Is this a joke? Is this the only way you get off? What do I do here? Do you want me to pee on you? Alex, what do do not going to lie. I'm not a furry, but Crystal Fox gets me hella bricked up. You can catch me shooting into the turlet every 20 minutes on a Saturday. <laughs> okay, I'm looking up Crystal Fox. That's a human. Can you please check your Reddit for a post called Gamer Subs Box Concept? Thank you. Also, big agree. What? Oh, Star Fox Crystal. Oh, oh. Bro, I, <laughs> I looked up this and I'm like, what's this got to do with it? <laughs> I'm like, I don't get it. What? 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 I'm like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, she's mature, pretty, I guess. Check your subreddit. Well, you know what, chat? There's my answer. I I, I think that at the end of the day, uh, I, it, it is a humongous red flag. But my if everything else, jail. man, you guys got to understand, everything else going perfect, kind of hard to beat. You know how rare that is, man? I think there's a line though, right? There is that line that I'm totally with the nose on where it's like, hey, is this like, how deep does this go? How do, is this, you know, how, is this a once a week thing? Is there poop involved? Great question. Am I gonna have to change you? Are you gonna be on your back being like, eh, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause at a certain point, if there's a titty in my mouth, I'm, I'm not sure I'm caring if there's a diaper if you know what I mean, like, okay, you want to wear a diaper? Cool. Horse cock is fucking mediocre. You know why? Because it lacks complexity. Canine cock has that glorious. I'm muting these. We're done talking about this. Uh, I'm on the subreddit just because you guys are begging me to. Uh, yeah, that is, uh, 
That is a sexy dog. I can show this, right? I won't get banned if I show this, right? Apparently, this is a post I made. I'm I'm not even ashamed of this. Don't show it? Oh, okay. It's on the subreddit. That's a sexy dog. Uh, what do you... Oh, no. You know? I found a wubby skittle. I'm, I'm going to start banning posts like this. I got to start banning people who post this shit. I found a wubby skittle. What is this? How is it? All right. <clears throat> yeah, literally colorblind. Baby, did I already thank you? Sorry. That's what it was. Um, <clears throat> my face went. It's 5:33 on a stream night, and I need to get something from the other room before the green man <laughs> goes live. What? I am not. I, I, I'm never this late. It's 3:33 on a or 5:33 on a stream night. And I need to get something from the other room. I'm. Not, how dare you? True though. Well, be I'm with you till she shits in the diaper. I've said this firmly from the beginning. If there's poop involved, I'm out unless it's been a while, you know? And I've I've never strayed from that. If there is poop involved, I am fuck there is I am out unless it's been a while. You know what I'm saying? You guys are getting caught up on the wrong part of it. I'm saying I'm d no, not interested at all. It's been a while. <clears throat> Age regression is fine by me, but diapers are a hard limit. Now, Fitz, you're not listening. F f you're not listening. Peach saliva. Thank you for the five. Peach saliva. Appreciate you. Uh, uh, while being two days. No, I mean, listen, you got to think of it like this, right? What if you're like 45? Where are my old fucks in chat? What if you're like 50 and like everything falls into your lap and she happens to like poop in diaper? Now nah, that's at You're right. Saying it out loud. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Does 25 count? No, nah, you're too young to be. Man, you know, I was, I, I was watching the true crime doc thing on the way to uh, uh, to Disneyland. And I wonder how these people find each other where it's like a serial killer couple. It, it, like, how do you present? How do you become the Hey, like, hey, babe, want to just what, I want to kill someone? <laughs> what? Want to like uh, torture the dog for a bit? Uh. <clears throat> I wonder how the shit. Like, yeah, is there murder Tinder? Babe, wouldn't it be funny if we just uh, picked up a girl from the bar and uh, kill her? Right? So like, okay. Because it's always couples that start out normal and then they just start fucking killing people. But then, but then, right? Like, again, maybe maybe more commonly and more, oh my God, I'm getting even more realizations right now. There's probably men, maybe even statistically, probably men in this chat right now who are in relationships. At the very least, there are probably men at work with some of you, right? That's a huge pool at this point who are married or in a relationship, fuck, one of you could be married or in a relationship with somebody who's into poop play and is petrified to bring it up. I would argue statistically someone in here is one person removed from poop play and they don't even realize it. Hell, I would argue because this is a Twitch chat, someone in here is that person in their relationship. Hell, I would argue that person is sitting on the couch with their wife right now and they just did this. <laughs> you see what <laughs> you see what we're <laughs> saying. Who play is happening right now? That's crazy. Get him in a Discord. I'll say this. If there's a poop play guy or girl in chat, I'll get you on a call if you're willing to call in. You can remain anonymous. Reach out to Peanut. I don't even know if Peanut's here. Peanut's lost in the wow sauce. Reach out to a mod. We'll get you on a call. My neighbor poops on his wife in the shower. Why do you know that? Do you ever think about how many houses you pass by that have someone locked in their basement? I have thought of that. It's actually really fucked up. It's fucking... It's, it, it, you know what, dude? How many missing people are just right there? Especially when they find one. And it's like, how long was that, my neighbor? That's scary. That's just fucked up, dude. <clears throat> my wife uh, turned to me to check if I was one. But that's the thing, right? Dude, I would, if I was like, 
if I was you, sit on the couch with my wife right now watching this, I wouldn't risk my marriage over getting pooped on. I would take that to my poopy grave, bro. All right, that's a big yike. Ugh. Have you seen the map overlay of missing people and caves in the US? No, can you put it on the subreddit? They don't find your body for 10 years and it's just stuck in the couch. Wait, what? Ever get a, okay, uh, Omegle died. I just found this out by being on the subreddit. By the way, hold on. <clears throat> this tombstone should, hold on, here we go. You asked for a Chris Chan documentary. There's an in-depth 80 hour one on YouTube. It's a good one. I know, watch. I wanna sum up the one in two hours on Netflix. Uh, this should, Omegle should say, this tombstone should read 2009 to 2015. Who the fuck was on Omegle in 2023? I think in the last five years, I've gone on there once or, or, or twice in like a social setting. Be like, Omegle still exists? Oh, that's a penis. Close it. Like, I think in Discord, maybe we, we've done it like once a year to be like, oh, this still exists. Ha ha. Oh, that's it. I mean, it really is just hogs and kids. It really is that the dude does it. <clears throat> I know the YouTube. Yeah, it was popular on TikTok. Here we go. This is a good chatter message here. Stranger of the 2000 or 206 said, Arabs be cooking on Omegle. <laughs> like, like in a literal sense, like they're just whipping up some, some skewers and shit. What do you, what do you mean? Uh, all right, let's read this. Of all the tyrannies, a tyranny sincerely ex Oh, who wrote this? Oh, C.S. Lewis did. For the good of its victims, maybe the most oppressive. It would be better to live under robber barons than under omnipotent moral busybodies. Yo, can we get a translate? Hello? The robber baron's cruelty may some... Can somebody, like, literally, t like, like, ELI-5 this for me? His... Cupidity may at some point be satiated, but those who torment us for our own good will torment us without end, for they do so with the approval of their own conscience. Bro, your sight is just dudes jerking off to kids. What is this? What? I don't get it. What, uh, can, can someone help me? Sorry, Wubby. It's high school reading level. I didn't graduate. It ain't that deep. It ain't that deep. Don't disrespect Omega like that. No, Omega had its place. The ignorance versus knowing. Can somebody please? They, they're saying woke people killed Omega. I don't, I, guys, I really don't. Wubby, there's a diaper guy on the subreddit. Uh, here we go. Someone did it for me. Thank you. Thank you, Omerg, for translating this. It's worse to be ruled by pedantic pussies than cruel the assholes. Yes, and C.S. Lewis stands for staples. Oh, thank you. Because assholes will get bored sometimes, but pedantic moral busybodies will never be satisfied. That, wow. That. Okay. Thank you. That actually really helped me. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Fuck that. I agree or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's look at this fucking diaper guy on the subreddit. Uh, huh, where's. I don't see a diaper guy. I just like humiliation. Oh no. Hey son, how mad are you that Neopets is also dead? The furries are. So this guy, um, this guy posts on the subreddit and his name on Reddit is, uh, Diaper Stupid. And he titled it, I Just Like Humiliation. My brother, we are going to look through your post history now. And I'm going to regret this. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> he does not have... Stop giving him pleasure. <laughs> You're so right! Wait, what's... What's ABDL? He keeps posting in ABDL and confessions. What's ABDL personals? What's that There's mean? There's an online quiz you and your partner can take that goes through tons of crazy fetishes and only shows the ones you have in common in the results. What? Can we take it? Send it to me. Let's take it, chat. Let's see what I have in common with everybody. Wait, what? Uh, Adult baby diaper lover. Oh, there's a subreddit. I'm clicking on it. 
Oh God. Hotel etiquette. When you're tra when you're traveling to a hotel and wear diapers, what is the proper etiquette for disposing of them? Ah, just flush it. Or throw it out the window. Most hotels have small trash can- And most are going to have no plastic bags, so what do I do? Are you pooping in them? What do you request a waterproof- Are people pooping in these? Are people... Yes, why else would he wear them? I thought they just like... <gasps> Fitz just said, I've had to train my employees to turn down ABDL people from trying to get supplies for us. So Fitz, who doesn't, for those who don't know, sells like supplies like this to old people who actually need them. You know, like, like people who can't control themselves like because they're old or, or sick. And apparently these... Wait a minute. Is a diaper fetish a poop fetish? Oh, what sweet hell did my bit to no bring upon stream today? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Transition to from a little to a daddy. What is all this, dude? Can we talk about Boogie now? I think in a way we are talking about Boogie. You know? I think in, in, a, in a roundabout way, this is the Boogie documentary. <laughs> you know? We'll get to it, but I, this is a good intro. You're telling me to move on, okay? You know, you're telling... Hold on. I read the Wubby poll results on the subreddit that that guy did. The guy put out a questionnaire that everyone on the subreddit voted, and nine or something like eighty to ninety percent of you prefer yap streams to everything else. So you know what? I will not be bested by the loud minority anymore. Okay, y'all fucking like this shit. Now, anyway, my brain is going crazy right now because of my mommy. <laughs> Top post, here we go. I'm a switch ABDL. Woo, that's labels. This man's like a five-star general of shitting himself. And married to another switch. We are poly and open to others. I'm telling you, some of these people doing relationship shit like X Games modes. This is, this is crazy. I'm a switch ABDL in a poly relationship. What the fuck? Of course they're poly. Uh, we've been living the quiet life for a while now, and it's great. We've built our own little nursery in one of the spare rooms. Man. Man. Let's continue reading. <clears throat> Tonight, however, she's taking things more serious with her new partner. She put me in a... She put me in a diaper and in a onesie. I googled, and, and there are a few of those quizzes nowadays. Carnal calibration, quiver, mojo upgrade, sexy and air, take your pick. Can you put one on the subreddit, my brother? She put me in a diaper and a onesie, and while we normally sleep together... <laughs> this is so funny. Tonight, she tucked me into the nursery because she needed adult time. My brother, I got news for you. Your wife is just getting the best of both worlds here. Can you... Boys, when the old ball and chain's being a bitch, how much would you like to just tuck her ass in for the night? You're getting cucked with extra steps. <laughs> Like, like, uh, some of this shit just feels so, like, like, uh, listen, I'm all for whatever kind of relationship you want, but so often I feel like someone's getting the way better end of the deal on these full poly open relationships. <laughs> like, oh, I'm a baby, I'm a baby. Oh, why did you put me in a dark room while you go fuck eight dudes? Wait, come back. That's not what I agreed to. I wish I knew what love is like. It's like, um... It's like coming really hard. It's like have it's like coming as hard as you've ever come, but in but your brain does it, and it's forever. My brain is flooded right now because oh my god, this can't be a real post. My brain is flooded right now because I'm sitting here, in the dark, holding a stuffy, in a nursery, while she's behind the door with her new partner. I feel small, and vulnerable, and happy. Like remembering a childhood memory. This cannot be real. She gave me my phone, but I just had to post something somewhere because I'm positively beaming right now. And I don't think I can sleep. Being surrounded by baby toys, play mats illuminated by the lights coming through my window, it's like breaking my adult brain in half. 
I'll give this guy $500 right now to get on a call. Unresolved trauma. This is fucking crazy. There's a, one of the top comments here. I'm looking forward to a similar experience very soon. Okay, hold on. Real quick. I just... Hold on, hold on. I'm not trying to be mean, but like every... Okay. Tell me why every... Mm, I don't want to say every because, okay, I do... Okay. <laughs> Some. Th tell me why this is literally the foundation of every... Not every. I'm going to try that again. Fuck, I'm going to get this right one of these times. <laughs> Hold on. Try it again. Here we go. <laughs> tell me why... This is the foundation of, like, so many poly relationships right here. It's literally, both of them look like a combination of these two people. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm not saying every, because I have definitely known and do know people in poly relationships who are very attractive. So I'm not saying every. But, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but what I'm I'm not talking about all. So I, if, if I've already offended somebody I know, please re. I'm not talking about you, right? But I can't. Now let me let me let me win some of these people back over. You you're I'm they. There is no way this dude who just got tucked in in his onesie and diaper and put into a dark room with his playthings. There's no way he doesn't look like a piece of fudge. There's zero percent chance this man is is Giga Chad in his little onesie, just sitting there like jacked, juice to the gills, like bulging quads in his little onesie. I'm waiting for mommy. No, I mean this guy. Like you know what I'm saying? But yeah, baby just got tucked in. Gonna check lay Reddit. There's no way. David Beckham doesn't wear nappy and and doesn't have and a onesie. That's what I'm saying, right? And I'm not okay. I feel I find the weirder down the rabbit hole we get, the weirder the people look. So I'm probably into some crazy shit. Ain't no way it's a giga chat. Ain't no way. You know what? I'm gonna go to this guy's profile. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. If he if he posted, it's he posted this. I'm not gonna dox this guy. I'm saying he posted it. Okay, well he's kind of cute. What the fuck? Uh, I never mind the fuck. So they are actually they are trans, uh, and male to female, and I will give myself some credit. Male dead version, I hit the nail on the head. Not even gonna lie to you. Female version, kind of going brazy, kind of working for me. In fact, I'll just prove it. I'll prove it. I'm going to look. Okay. I think I get. So if this was a test, I think I get a C, right? I'm carried by my success, but I'm weighed down by my failure in this case. All right. Uh, and if you're wondering, now I'm not going to do you, but I, I respect, I respect that you guys think I would. I'm having a hard time believing this is the same person. So congrats to them. I'm not doing you. All right. Look, so this is, um, and by the way, this is all on their Reddit. I did not, I'm not doxing. I'm not looking at private information or anything. This is stuff they posted. So this was them. I think I should get some credit. Okay. Uh, and now this is them now. Is this the same human being? If so, way to go. <laughs> so it's like, totally sniped it. You free? They have a that's what they have a filter on. What the fuck happened? I, I don't I don't know. Okay, good for them though. Whatever. <laughs> My brain's been going crazy right now because of mommy. Uh they became who they are and now they're happy. Oh shut up, Fitz! Shut up! Shut the fuck! Oh, bro. Listen, if you're going to make fun of whatever, you can't draw the line. You have to. You got to keep pushing forward. Didn't IDubs teach us to say the N-word? We're not going to let that go to waste, Fitz. Um, black people. Thank you, Fitz. Thank you. Just like that.
Just like that. All right, where were we? Can we move past all this now? I'm done looking at the subreddit. Do we want to move past diapies now? Can we move past it? My, f well, hold on. I last one, last one, last one. I just have to read it. I'm reading titles and it grabs me. My family hates adult baby diaper. So my family and I were watching Young Sheldon. These have to be fake. These have to be fake. My family and I were watching Young Sheldon. This has to be a fake conversation. My family and I were watching Young Sheldon and someone on the show made a comment about being his wife's baby. My family ended up talking about how they saw ABDLs on My Strange Addiction. That's on My Strange Addiction. Why are we not watching it right now? We have so much to do. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, we've seen it. Oh, whoa, we haven't seen this one. We got to stop. We're not watching it. My family is very judgmental, judgmental and narrow minded. And they said they even said that ABDL should die. OK, that, I, I wouldn't agree with that. Uh, they don't know about this side of me and made me very uncomfortable. I ended up sitting there awkwardly, not doing or saying anything and watch the show. Some of my family's members are very nosy and it scares me what would happen if they found out. No one knows I'm wearing a diaper. <laughs> There's a diaper girl on the subreddit? Uh, I'm not able to do most ABDL things I'd like to do because of them. I think I should move out. Okay, this whole story changes knowing you fucking live with them, dude. What do you mean? Okay, hold on. I'm on the subreddit. Wearing pull-ups and binkies and sippy cups. Uh, what? Bro's actually just a baby. <laughs> Hi, I'm six months old and I'm posting from my parents' house. I overheard them watching a show today <laughs> and I'm worried. They talked about diapers and... Refresh the ABDL subreddit. Did you guys fucking do something to their subreddit? Please don't. Come on. Stop. Everybody stop. Stop. I, I, I'm, and, and if the mods of this subreddit see it. Stop. Stop. Mods, I did not encourage them to do this. Mods, I actively discourage it. Any mods on this subreddit, please tell them, send me names of anyone who's causing issues. We'll ban them from our community too. Look at this fucking loser ass idiot, fucking retard brain idiot posts on there. Incoming Wubby. Wubby, a big time streamer, is shining some light on the sub. Good luck, everyone. Don't at me. Well, no one's gonna fucking at you because you're gonna get nuked, bro. You know what? Let's all brigade this one guy. How about that? No, don't actually do that. But what are you doing, dude? I'm not telling anybody to go to this fucking sub. I'm not telling anybody to go to this sub and you're the one. You just shined a light on it. Uh, if you're cop brigading, we will ban you. Yes. Yes, we will. Um, it's a little bit off the rails, but I'm not entirely mad about the exposure it's bringing. What? Every time I think we're in the clear and moving on, he gets pulled back in. You know what's crazy is we were about to move on and now this post has got me by the balls. Will be check his profile. It might be from a place of misogyny. But check this shit out. When guys say they want a wife who cooks and cleans and does everything around the house for them. Okay, I'm start. Well, hold on now. Maybe they got a point. Now, maybe they got a point there, though. Now, maybe they got a point there. Now, hold on. <laughs> Hear me, yeah, but hold, let's, hold, let, him, let, him, let him talk, let him talk, let him talk. The guy that posted on there is a diaper person and he's active in the sub. Okay, my brother, listen, I hear you. I hear you, my brother. I'm not trying to be mean to you. I hear you. I respect your diapers. Do you? I, I, listen, do you? Whatever makes you happy. Okay? But we're not brigading your subreddit. We, 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 I'm, we're, no one's going to your subreddit. We don't want anyone. I was just reading some posts, my man. I was just reading some posts. Do you want me to tuck you in? I got you. I got you. I got you. Don't delete your account. I'm not just come here. I got you. Come here. I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to tuck you in, all right? We don't want any trouble with this community. We do not want any trouble with this community. I don't want any hate sent their way. I don't want anyone to be mean. Come here. 
up, down, up. And I'm gonna put you down right there. You have your toys. You have the light. Okay. You have your you have your tablet with Coco Melon. Alright. And now Daddy is gonna go rail some Amazonian woman. Right behind that door. Okay? Good night. saying it's comfortable and relaxing what's going on there what's going on there yo can you stop i came already bro wouldn't that be weird like if you're into this shit you like you're doing you get put down you come and then it's over so you're like can i just get up now what do i do do i have to keep doing this satan's gym thank you for the 20 how you liking stream tonight satan's gym play diaper wubby sleep aid going off tonight yeah, i guess so all right, we're moving on. On three, everybody put your hands in, okay? We're all gonna put our hands in. Everyone, me and the thousands of people here right now, everybody put your hand on the screen. And on three, we're gonna say no more furry, no more diaper talk. We respect all these communities. We may not be a part of them. We may not understand them. And we like making fun of them, but that's okay. Here we go, on three, everybody. One, two, three. No more furry talk, no more diaper talk. But just so everybody knows, the answer to the poll, I would have put yes. I would have put yes. Okay. Um, so. <clears throat> Woo! What he said. Thank you. They don't deserve respect. Uh, I don't respect them in the way I respect my father. But I respect them in a way that I respect that they don't deserve to have their lives ruined or get shit on. They deserve the same amount of make fun as anybody else on the internet. And they deserve the same amount of commentary as anybody else on the internet, but they don't deserve to be like life ended because of it or ruined, you know, whatever. If you're not hurting anybody, go fuck yourself in a diaper. I don't give a fuck, you know? Um, anonymous gifter, thank you for the 10. Yeah, but someone want to be shit on. <laughs> uh, oh my God, you went wrong. It, it literally is lovey. Thank you for the 10 anonymous gifter. Fetish, is on, fetish quiz on the subreddit. Do you guys want me to take that real quick? You want me to take that real quick? Oh, don't look, there's a, there's a tiny dog ass right there. I think I can show that, by the way. Um, yes, do it, all right. <laughs> oh, God. Where is it on the subreddit? Um, the failure of Rainhurst, no, where is it? Sex fetish compatibility quiz, here you go, wubby. Uh, I don't like this site, bro. This site does not seem good to me do you see the gamer subs box it's funny you bring that up because i actually wanted to um i have to i'll, I'll announce this now first off gamer subs use code wubby at checkout they have a new cup launching this friday but uh you're on the bus set yes because we're wrapping up media share tonight we have some media share to do we have some stuff to talk about before we do it so gamer subs use code wubby however any this is a a call to anybody you don't have to be an artist you're probably sitting there right now. You have paper plates on your floor. You're depressed. That's okay. I have something for you. Um, I got on a call with Gamersubs today. And we're talking about 2024 and new products and all these exciting things. Very exciting. Okay. And I pitched them with Alex something. We want to do something cool and, and, and not. So we, we want to have the products that everybody can get. You know, the cups. We're doing new stuff. I won't, I'll won't. i say a couple things. We're doing metal cups. We're going to be doing different types of cups, different types of all kinds of cool things. But then I wanted to pitch something different. And I was like, I would like to do something unique. And he's like, well, what do you have in mind? And I'm like, I don't have an idea yet. But here is what I was thinking. I'm like, you know how Elon Musk did the flamethrower and there were only a few of those and they were expensive. And then they sold out instantly. What if we do something like that? And he's like, a flamethrower? I'm like, not a flamethrower, but something like that. And he's like, well, yeah, anything you want, come up with an idea and we'll do it. Anything you want. He's like, if it can be made, we can make it. So I said, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up to my chat tonight and I'll ask what they uh, think. So we're probably, I want to do it serialized. So there's like, it's one of blank. 
You can submit to the subreddit your idea. Please don't just say the word gun. And um, because of this, there's going to be people doing this. I'm just going to remove it. If you want to submit your idea, put it on the subreddit. But if we use your idea, uh, I will guarantee you one of them when it comes out, uh, whatever it is. Uh, people saying diaper. No, these have to be real ideas. Obviously, don't even waste your time. But if anyone has, I mean, anyone has a good idea, something cool, something crazy, something unique, I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, a, okay, a gong would be kind of interesting. But would you even buy the gong? I probably wouldn't. Uh, it's got to be something interesting, right? So whatever you can think of, think of it. It does not have to be Wubby themed at all. Elon Musk made a flamethrower. It made no sense, but then it was really successful. Um... Uh, a mansion. <laughs> so anything you can think of, put it on the subreddit. And if we pick yours, you will get one for free. Probably a special one for free. All right, let me... Um, let's do this fucking quiz. This is so bright on my screen. Let's get this over with quick. Cardinal Calibration. Unner oh, let's get some sex music going. Yeah, put it on the subreddit. It does not have to be Wubby related at all. It can be. But ultimately, I, I, I open to anything. Hold on. Sexual music to get you in the mood love making music one hour loop honeymoon romantic nights baby it's you that's all the title oh yeah mm. oh you got the diaper on mm. you do got the diaper on mm. let me hear it crinkle what are you saying Daddy's home. <laughs> I'm trying to set my. It's hot. I'm trying to set my AC right now. It's fucking 75 degrees, and you're trying to shoot 75 degree weather like it's crazy. Mm. Yeah. What level do you and your partner feel comfortable with? Now, chat, would you take this with me? Would you guys take this with me and we can all share? I feel like it's a little weird. Can we make it not weird? What level are we at? I think I'm, I think I'm, I would. Okay, wait, let me read it. Choose an intensity level. Beginner, you like trying a new dish. Nothing too daunting, but enough to add some sizzle. What does that mean? Where's poop on this? You're right smack dab in the middle. Excuse the double entendre. Ha! <laughs> Advanced. You could do this standing on your head and probably have. I definitely don't think I'm advanced, and I don't think I want to be advanced. San Diego crew should take it. It gets weird, you know? Like, hey, to all my employees and friends, I need to know what your fetish is. On my desk by seven. What's going on? All right. I'll say I'm, I'd am probably put myself right between these two. I feel like beginner, like you, you know a beginner person, right? But but like, I don't think I'm interesting at all. I'll put it right here. You came in a tent, fine, I'll put intermediate. Select the categories you'd like to show up in the questionnaire. I have to pick the categories? I have to fill out my information? Oh my God. Give me a second. I'm selecting all categories, whatever. How long is this questionnaire? I don't have a partner's information. I'll just put chat. One computer, chat, female. Chat, you're gonna be female. Please select your age. I'm doing this off screen so you guys can't see how old I am. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. You're the partner, chat. Balls man. That's right, it's me. Dude, don't do this. I'm gonna give this five minutes. If it's not interesting, I'm moving on. 28 to 32, what do, what do you mean 28 to 32? How long, have longer teasing and foreplay sessions with chat? Oh, okay, this is weird. Yo, this ain't, this is not, yo, 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 this is, I don't think we can do this for very long, bro. All right. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Maybe if, if chat's interested. <laughs> <laughs> if chat's interested, have phone sex with chat. I'm good. Keep clothes on while having sex. I'm good. Strip completely. Yeah. Be completely stripped. 
I'm okay. Have Chad give me a sensual massage? Yes. Give Chad a sensual massage. When was the last time you showered, Chad? <laughs> is this consensual? Well, the door is locked. Take pictures of Chad. That, I don't know why that weirds me out. Sit there. Sit there. Don't move. Don't move. Yeah. Don't move. Have, I don't want photos of me taken. It just, you know... Like, picture yourself trying to get out of a sunken bed. You know how you swing the leg back and forth and imagine someone snapping a photo right then and there. Too late! I'm okay. Take pictures of us having sex. This is getting weird. I'm gonna give us a couple more questions. I'll keep it at a maybe. Have sex with chat's legs on my shoulders? I'm done. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, all right, all right. Look at how many questions. Yeah, there were an awful lot. I'm not gonna lie. There there were, oh, oh, here we go. Gamer sub, we should have made this a thread. The entire subreddit is broken. Oh boy, the entire subreddit is broken. We should have made this a thread. Uh, oh boy. Booty, can you make this a thread? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Booty, are you there? Are you hearing me right now? Is my voice reaching you? Wait, why didn't you? Autism. I'm here. Booty, can you make a thread that just says gamer subs product submissions? And can you make the rules be we're trying to do a unique product like the um, uh, the flamethrower uh, that Tesla did? And uh, the sky is the limit. Whatever cool, unique, uh, higher end product you could think of, anything can be, it can be anything. It would be a limited run. And if your idea is chosen, you get uh, we'll give you like an exclusive version of it. All right. Um, the boring company. Sorry. Give a price range. Five to five thousand dollars. Right? There is no price range, right? If it's five thousand dollars, it's gotta be the most incredible fucking thing ever. So maybe don't go that high. Maybe a few hundred at most, right? Someone just get some amaranth fluid. An ape killing sword. That's kind of fucking cool. An ape killing sword? Someone said unicycle. Hi, hi. The Cult of the Lamp Guild Meetup. Oh my God, look at this. They prayed for me to be on time tonight. Your prayers did not reach me. <laughs> Praise the Lamp. This is so, dude, the Cult of the Lamp Guild is so sick in, uh, in, uh, wow. You guys are sick. You guys are really helpful. Mm. <sighs> Hit me up. Send me all your bags, please. A gamer sub spoon, like a Coke spoon. That's crazy. That is crazy. I'm good. That is crazy, though. We'll talk. <laughs> so yeah, posting this. Uh, we're we're getting a thread. Booty, you can remove the the glor the glorgussy too. You can remove that, uh, and if you want to make it an announcement. So there you go. All right, we have media share to finish. If you guys would join me, we have about 30 minutes left of media share. Did I show this art already? I fucking love this art. Did I show this shit? I don't know if I showed it already, but this is one of my favorite fan art pieces anyone's ever done. I love this. It's so good. <laughs> uh, we have 30 minutes left of media share, so let's hit that. Let's hit that real quick, guys. And then we got more to do. We got enough to get through tonight, so I'm going to shut up. Um, media share time. 30 minutes left of media share. Here we go. Without further ado, what does the last 30 minutes of media share bring? Fun fish fact, even though it looks delicious, asbestos will kill you. See, this is why we always do it on another day. You know? I ass off all morning thinking about this because it'd just be so fucking hilarious. This is the wrong video, huh? Man, it ruins chat instantly, too. Everyone's spamming asbestos. Oh my god, dude. I gotta tell you about this. I've been laughing my ass off all morning thinking about this because it'd just be so fucking hilarious. What if we had sex like we were a boy and a girl, but like we aren't? Oh, okay, Wouldn't I that see. be it's really funny? It's the dude funny? from the costume Wouldn't contest. Wouldn't it be fucking hilarious if okay. you put girly clothes on me right. and fucking... Next. I'm not wasting any time on it, guys. I'm sorry. All right. Very cool. Thank you, Kanye. Bye. 
There's no thread. Booty, get the thread up quick! Booty, what are you doing? Dude, I fucking love Baldur's Gate. General Sam, spitting. Booty's typing. There it is. There it is, boys. Go submit. Go submit your gamer subs idea. Go submit your gamer subs idea. Scientists is. were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> Was that just the original? <laughs> That's good, dude. A oh. white woman spotted. Okay, I, I listen, guys. I, I I really I appreciate how much you guys donate twerk videos. Like, really, it is great. Can, there's th this. Listen, can we get a little more juice? Can we get a little more junk, please? Can we get like, you know what I mean? I'm a lady and I love it. Can we? Can we? You know what I mean? I, I bro, what do you know? Those are perfect. I like a little more weight. So why do you keep me waiting? I'll even take a thick dude! Harlotry? Okay. I'm glad the priest is in chat. Thank you. Welcome. We used to say that eccentric, spirited people such as yourself were just silly, perhaps immature, or shall we say, goofy. <laughs> yeah. But now we know it's autism. Gosh. Okay, that was good. That was good. Thank you. Yup. 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 Uh, hideous. You guys have to live in that dog shit red town, bro. Hey man, I, I, I caught a, I caught a little Pokemon. Do you want to know what Pokemon I caught? What Pokemon did you catch, Joker? I caught a little punny, Batman. I caught a little punny. Oh no, Joker. Don't tell me. Yeah, you already know, Batman. You know what I'm gonna do to that thing. Joker, it's an animal, Joker. You can't. Batman, there's no laws against the Pokemon, Batman. I can do whatever I want with it. No, bro, you can't. No, don't do it. I'm gonna do it, Batman. <laughs> Relevant? Give it up for hour three, ladies and gentlemen. Day two, hour three is really like hell. That's this sexy pink uh, power cutting wheels. And you're ready to ride. The sexy pink power cutting wheels. Look at that fat fuck. See, I can make a really mean joke here, but I am talking about myself. Guy was such a bro. This whole, everything about this video fell perfectly into place. I don't know if this is TOS friendly. I'm sorry. I just realized. I mean, we did our show low, low, low nipples. This place is magnificent. Yes, dude. It really do be though. My flaccid penis the says way, hello. He he's gonna mope, but it's not gonna work well. Nick, I think James, I think oh my God. Have you, I can't believe we haven't talked about this clip yet. This just happened. Have you guys seen this or did, is this, wait, hold on. I don't know if this just happened. I just saw it. Let me be clear. I don't know if this just happened. I just saw it. Oh, it did just happen. Okay, wait, okay. Bro, this is so good. Watch. I, it, it, mm, it's new? Yes. Dang, Nick's here. I just he gifted subs. I'm not actually excited that Nick is here, but. What's up, Nick? I got to pretend. Yeah, gifted subs. Dang, Nick is here. What's up, Nick? He get to play the way he wants, and he's listen, gonna listen. Move, but it's not gonna work well. Nick, I think James, I is think, the I, man I, retarded? I the, mean, the, is, I mean, shouldn't use that word, but sure. Developmentally yeah. disabled. Sure. Uh, to think that. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> ah, oh shit, I'm on air. Way wants and he's gonna move, but it's not gonna work well. Nick, I what? James, I is mean, the I, man I, retarded? The, I mean, the, is, the, I mean, shouldn't use that word, but sure. Developmentally yeah. disabled. Sure. Uh, to think that. God, I feel like it's. I feel like it's worse when you're like a, a developmentally disabled. I'm like that feels more targeted. He is going to go to the sip. <laughs> man, that's so real though. There was it was this was a while ago. Nick Castle, we got a lot of Nicks in chat. Thank you, Nick, for the five. Is it convincing? Nick, Northern Nick. Sorry, I peeked there. Little voice crack peek too. Okay, I actually am excited for Northern Nick. Thank you for the ten. I will say this: I was watching H three. <laughs> Don't owl me. I was watching H three. This was a God, this was probably. Maybe a year ago at this point. I don't even know. He, this was before the button. He casually threw out the word retard. And then immediately he went, oh, 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 I don't, I don't know where that, I don't know why I said that. Bro, we all know why that was said. That's because the camera stopped rolling and like everybody else who pretends, we all say shit we don't want to say on camera behind the camera. Everybody, like. I know, granted, there are such things as genuine slip-ups, right? Genuinely. But let's be real. The jokes you make alone are different than the jokes you make publicly. I'm just saying. Why is there another Nick that just gifted five? Dude, how do you how do you pick up your beautiful baby boy and name him Nicholas? Well, like, like, like you're, naming, you're, you're naming your child after fucking Santa Claus. And not to mention, in school, there's going to be like four or five other Nicks running around. You know how many nicks I had in high school? I was in a work meeting today with a third-party consultant, and he said the word retarded, and it took every fiber of my being not to laugh hysterically. I mean, I'll be fair. Like, yeah, maybe maybe the word retard is not meant for daytime television or for a workplace environment or for a professional environment. But you know what? Neither is the word, I don't know, cunt, right? A super effect like oh i wouldn't say that on tv or in front of my boss but maybe we're streaming and talking about diaper furry porn yeah maybe i'll throw a couple retards in the mix you know northern nick 10 more i didn't crack that time thank you for the 10 a lot of nicks in chat really getting scared there it is you you thought you'd get me with that one nick or treat live thank you for the five subs not gonna get me with that nope I don't even like saying the word Nick anymore. Like a shake or a bounce whenever she was little. But, you know, you make a face at a baby, they like smile back, whatever. Nick is here! I'm happy now. Thank you for the success to do the same for us! Because my soldiers do not buckle on you and face with the cruelty of this world! Commander Irwin! My soldiers push forward! My soldiers scream out! Uh, who the fuck are you? Safani Se Se Coloss Rage? Oh, Nicholas is in there. <laughs> Did you hear how I just pronounced that? We don't need to clip it. It was fine. And once is funny enough. <laughs> I can't believe how I said that. <laughs> Straight up noob pajama moment. You guys don't realize how hard this job is, guys. <laughs> you One, don't get it. Two, three. <laughs> Man, that was fun. I loved that. Mini lad humor. Cl mini lad moment, dude. Um, no be, no be out here with the Cadillacs so and can't get him. He about to fly. He about to fly. He about to fly. You gotta get, you gotta come get Lil B. The man out here with the Cadillacs. <laughs> that's actually, I'm gonna be honest. That's a fair 911 call. That's fair. Illegal? Those shoes were illegal. Big farting. Obviously fake, but damn. <laughs> Maybe not fake. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Jeez. Hey, thanks for using code Webby at checkout, whoever did that. Oh, you and I know. Nobody else knows. You and I know. Thank you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first... Uh... What are you doing spoiling the... Dude, I knew this was gonna happen. How dare you leak in the test footage?
How dare you leak the test footage? Car yeah, Carlos, by the way, he's saying in chat, I'll tell you now, Carlos said he literally called it that night while we we're filming. He's like, yeah, this shit's going to get donated to Media Share. That means one of you idiots took it, edited it. Wait, I could actually tell you whose this was because of the edit. I'm not going to show it. 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 I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not going to show it. The mods let it in. I know. Oh, God, I'm looking rough. That You are. You're looking white. You're looking white, dude. I'm excited for the video. That video is not. We, we no. Damn, we need haircuts. Okay, I'm. Can I be honest with you guys? No, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna call a spade a spade here. Actually, I'm gonna run it back. This isn't. I, you know, because you said it, Peanut. I'm really gonna call it here. Hello. I, I'm sorry, virus and threat protection. Thank you. Uh, yeah, y'all three really did. Y you let it ride for a little too long. I'm gonna be honest. Hold on, let me see if we got a peanut shot in here. Is it just me? You don't even show peanut. You let, bro, you let it ride for too long. You did. You did. And, and both of yous. Booty. Unacceptable. He looks good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not saying he doesn't look good. I'm not, I would never see my boys look bad. I would not do that to them. It's just, I just cut in this video. You let it ride a little too long, Peanut. Don't make me explain. Don't make me say you need another haircut. Wow, normal, what normal eyes you have? I look great. Oh. <laughs> On second thought. <laughs> oh. I'm letting it ride right now, too. I need a haircut bad. Like, really bad. It's getting huh? bad. It's getting, it's getting fluffy. What is this? I hate end of media share. Sorry, I should be more happy. Wow! Some of these have been good, I'll be honest. The gizzard. the gizzard, or ventriculus, is the muscular stomach where the grinding of food takes place. What? After being softened by the proventriculus, food moves into the gizzard. It's a round organ with two <laughs> lobes, one larger than the other. Each surface of the gizzard is covered by a shiny layer of tendinous tissue, which is thicker at the center and thinner out by the edges. Under this outer layer are located very powerful masses of red muscle. The inner surface is lined with creamy-colored, thick, horny tissue raised in ridges. She said what? She said what? Yo, you got, you got, yeah, what's the tissues at, bro? This. What's the tissues at, you know what I'm saying? Drop a name. Stretch it. No leeway, no compromise, just stupid fucking jokes. What compromise? How's this? 20 years in the can. I wanted my God. I compromised. I ate grilled cheese off the ready instead. I wanted to fuck a woman, but I compromised. I jacked off in a tissue. 20 years in the can. I jacked off in a tissue. I wanted my God. I jacked off in a grilled cheese. I wanted to fuck a woman. I compromised. I jacked off in a woman. I compromised. I jacked off 20 years in the can. I wanted to fuck the ready instead. I compromised. I'll fuck my God instead. You see where I'm going? Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. Whatever, dude. Oh my God, dude. I got to tell you about this. I've been. Don't worry, guys. Only 15 minutes left. Play it. That video played last time. It was my voice. It was on the other one. Okay. I mean, okay. I'm not mad at it. I'm not offended by it. It's just okay. Whatever. Next one. Have we seen this? I think we've seen this. Yeah, this is mean. This is so mean. <laughs> Way. Oh, bro. 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 O
I'm gonna beat that bitch ass. I ain't gonna fuck out. <laughs> At what point was he awake? <gasps> Ooh, yes, sir. Damn, the movement was crazy though. No aim, but damn. Kyle, you were touching me. Stop it. What we Seen it. Now, Seen it. Thank you for the donut, though. Bro, turn into Homer Simpson. Though. I got a belly laugh out of me. Hey, uh, the, the videos aren't funny anymore. So uh, here's my dog. <laughs> Thank you. That was actually. You're right. I mean, you're I right. That's yeah. Right. Well, at least I'm not the third type of guy. You don't know. Fate. He's woken. <laughs> Did somebody say fate? <laughs> Can we get rid of this guy? Oh, I'll. But you're supposed to be in the gorilla suit. I am in the gorilla suit. I thought I was doing a pretty good job. If you're Patrick, then who's that? Hey guys, it's me, Flying Gorilla, from my new app on the App Store, Flying Gorilla. It's a free download, so I hope you, you check it out, and, and I hope... <laughs> why do people, why are people in my chat saying classic? Have you ever seen that shit? What? What is hap- guys, what's happening? You barbecue bacon Buford from Checkers? Mm. That's your boyfriend. What is happening? Sorry, 12 minutes left. We throw me some numbers. Virus ripping through a major company file. Throw me some numbers. Okay, throw me some numbers. Password. Oral cum shot. Okay, give me your password. <laughs> password? Figures. Out with it. Oral cum shot. <laughs> Figures. What is this? What is the is this stream? Is this current stream? Was this stream? That was the stream. All right, whatever. Good one. You got me. Figures. Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. This alien was seen walking. Oh! Jesus! What is that? Is the sun not real for this guy? They don't tell us. Oh. <sighs> good grab on the feet, though. That was good. I smoke weed. This is a classic right here. I smoke weed. I smoke weed. Look the weed and ignite the fire. I smoke weed. Look the weed and ignite the fire. I smoke weed. Look the weed and ignite the fire. I smoke weed. Look the weed and ignite the fire. I smoke weed. Look the weed and ignite the fire. I smoke weed. Yeah! Thanks for using code. Want me to check out, brother? That means they didn't even stage it. He was going 6 9. Aladdin 2. Hey, you looking for some company tonight? Where's your cute little ass rushing off to? Papers. You look like a cut of meat, are you? That's so well done, but not worth it. Like, way too well done. All right. I'm gonna skip that. Cool. Thank you. Guys, we're so close. We're almost free. He tries to put the remote in his ass. I can't believe I said he tries. He succeeds. That got in there. Oh. Oh. Oh, I love carrot cake, bro. I feel like carrot cake is hated a lot, but it's so good. I also like fruit cake.
Oh no. Oh no, I'd hate to die this way. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. This is one piece. Stomp! Oh no! I would oh I would hate to die this way. What okay, maybe you guys might have been onto something. Nah, this was fucking stupid. Never mind. Whatever. Come. You could Come with me. My love for you is like a truck berserker. Is this real? Is this... <laughs> this is real? Yes? No, it's not, dude. Do you want to make him berserker? <laughs> okay, I should have just let it play. Berserker. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just say making <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wubby cup and weed wubby tray weed cup wrap sh shape why it would <sighs> I need with your cup with your cup so, so I can, can collect disability checks. Spend it how I like. Maybe buy a new life. Girl, you'd be my shining star. If you'd fucking break my leg with your motherfucking car. So real. Collab, please. What do I do with him? No. No. We're almost done. No, only two minutes. No. You are the only healer. Lee, run to the center. Yum. Ogres, run to the center. Foresight, run to the center. Sarp, run to the center. Isis, run to the center. Whatever the fuck you do, do not stand next to other people. Mogres, center. Just heal me. Lee, do not. Oh, this is intense, dude. Go away from the head, Lee. Go away. K, DPS. Slowly. Come here, you fucking cunt! Touch the tail! I see you want to stand in front. Well... Crush him yeah. with fair and Who the case. fuck was that?! Crush him! What the Sorry, fuck?! Welch! Left fight. side! Like Even like side! Many welts! Now handle it! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> oh, yeah, two, two, holy shit. <laughs> That's a fucking fit! What the fuck was that shit? The priest. If you stand in the right fucking place, there is no way you are going to fucking get into the goddamn wealth. Whatever fucking spear, tail swipe, whatever the fuck. Okay? It's like one in a fucking million. From the fucking north corner. This is literally going to be the hardcore WoW raid that Soda runs. It's going to be so bad. I mean, you got to realize, like, we get one life. They get one shot. You think a bunch of fucking streamers are going to be able to pull this shit off? Oh, it's going to be so great. It's going to be glorious. They ain't getting that far. That's what I'm saying, though. There's no practice. It's the end. Clock 17 1, wait for bypass. Send it. Is that a joke that's funny to people? Who is this for? That's what literally what I'm thinking. Why are you hanging out with him? He can't even walk. Oh, yeah. My fucking, oh my fucking god. I'm not even gonna explain it. That's not even worth explaining. Chuck E. Cheese. Whoa! You have a unique ability to touch children. 
They love to have a fun and interactive experience playing our games and watching our show and enjoying our delicious company. Wow, Chucky, I'm not so sure I'd come back if I was his guest. Touch or try to restrain a guest, people are our greatest asset. Dick is the secret to an increase in sales. It's <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Just tell me what I want to know. No need okay, two more videos, guys, we're almost done. We're almost free from this shit. It's hard to imagine when you are in these places Dude, this is making ever me loving depressed. yourself again. What do you think he but feels? Dude, he's time. got other videos that says, I am depressed. My suicide story. Like, it must not be a good suicide story if he can tell it. As I've spoken about. <laughs> Sorry, I got All right. <clears throat> Is this the last one? I received a workout set that was too small. And my sister asked if she could model. I'm down. You know, my grandma, my grandma, uh, she's 12, bro. My grandma, uh, we're not, we're talking about her age. Not, oh, never mind. My grandma always taught me, go out on a fizzle. You know, don't go out with a bang. <clears throat> my grandma died quietly in her sleep and we didn't find her for six months. That's going out with a fizzle. Um... And I took my grandma's advice, and that's why Media Share ends right there. That was the last video. Literally fucking terrible. Uh, a terrible dog shit waste of time. People beg me to do it, though. I get why. I understand. I understand. You don't want, you don't want scam money, Wubby. I understand. Uh, and I, I hear you, and I feel you. <clears throat> so I went through it. Uh, I just, I, I know when to cut Let's it off, boys. Shot. I've been doing it for long yeah. enough. Um, now there was one video from Media Show that didn't get played, and and at the risk of getting banned, I'm just gonna play it because I believe I. So I want to point out, this man, this man posted uh, this video to Media Show and it did not get approved, but I'm approving it now, and let me explain why I feel comfortable approving it, because. I have seen Twitch streamers, some amazing ladies, some I know, who have, who will be, who will do swimming anyway, streams, kiss, kiss, and you. they'll be wearing something similar. The only major difference is they'll be hanging over the edge, leaning over. In fact, does anybody have a few clips we could pull up to show that I'm not, I should not get banned for this? I should not get banned for this? Uh, thank you, Crimson New Type, for the 10. Eat 10 more reasons to not get banned for this. 19 years, 19 years, 19 years. What about the butt plug? Or months, in my case. He does not have months, a butt plug in. He has a pronounced asshole. Minus. And it's pronounced asshole. You, big daddy. Uh, Wubby is ready for the temp vacation for the wild grant. I'm not trying to get banned. 60, baby. I'm not. No happy six Moe anniversary. Okay. I just had a well, Wubby really wants to see. What is this shit? What is this in the subreddit? Is 2023 twerk competition. Oh, I thought I just showed it on screen. Is this TOS friendly? Bring back Rachel. Nope, I cannot show this. I'm clicking off of it. We finally fucking. <clears throat> stupid question. Apple what happened to the media show down at the queue at the end of the stream? Maybe I'm just confused. Bro, that is a stupid fucking question. Uh, I know. <clears throat> all right, here it is. Here's the guy. So, In gay. so long, partner. There's a butt plug. Towards the end of the video, okay, is there really? Did wubby, I miss wubby, a butt plug? Wubby, wubby, put your name in the goddamn reset. I'm watching wubby, this wubby. shit frame by frame right now. I, there is not a single goddamn. butt plug anywhere in this. There's no way this guy's wearing a butt plug. There's no way. And you know what? If Twitch wants to go frame I by am. frame to prove it, oh wait, is the butt plug no in the idea cake? How many months I've been subbed now? What a fun three-ish years it's been. <laughs> also, booty, check your DMs. It's important. <laughs> shit. Going to <laughs> There might be a butt plug in the cake. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Asbestos in my lungs. Damn it, there's a butt. I didn't even notice that. Months. Damn it. 
I got engaged. Okay, hold on. Chat. Can you link me a clip Love of what I'm talking about? Ever. That 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 Twitch streamer who who just like who's like sitting on the Love rim those. of the of the indoor pool and they're just in. How is that less safe than what I'm about to show you? Almost three years. Bombs. Put a square over it. Can you take me higher <laughs> to a place where <laughs> blind men see? Nah, my man really is sitting on a butt plug, though. I, I really, really don't think. My gorgeous <laughs> I, I don't think. Uh, dream. Hover your mouse over it. I... Fifty-five months. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Never stop loving oh content. no, this is not Thanks gonna fly. I really okay. wanted to show this Do to you guys, but I don't think I couch can now. Underscore o underscore fist. Thank you, Couch Couple. I appreciate you. I I don't actually think I can show it now. Um, <clears throat> we'll hold off on that. <laughs> A real life Dennis sex doll is what your suggestion is. Oh no, a full size Denise. A fleshlight would be too basic. What about a silicone doll of Denise? That's a little fucking weird. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like... I know I said the sky is the limit. I feel like that is is higher than the, the sky. That's a little crazy. I, I just returned and this man is still yapping. Hey, dipshit. Hey, fucking literal dipshit. If you clicked back in and it was this, would you stay? Why do you guys say stupid things? I don't even get it. Bro, I just came back and you're still talking? As opposed to what? Yeah, look at the category. Can you do the fan art low angle thing? Bro, I feel like you're asking that as like a fetish thing. I can't show you guys the butt plug thing, but uh, I do have another thing I'd like to show. First off, okay, this is cool. As you guys already know, just, just there's no story here. There's nothing interesting or crazy. Rockstar put out a tweet. Wanted to get hype with you guys. Get hype with the boys. Rockstar put out a tweet next month. Marks the 25th anniversary. Okay, cool. Yeah, who cares? Thanks for credible support, Rockstar team. Cool. Who cares? Nobody cares, right? Nobody cares about that, right? However, Rockstar has confirmed that in December, uh, they will be putting out... Uh, it will release at their... What? GTA 6. We're getting a trailer for GTA 6, guys. We're getting a trailer for GTA 6. Okay? We're getting a GTA 6 trailer. And you know this is big? This tweet has 131 million views. Has anyone even seen it? Like, in one day? Hello? Not even. It's not even been a day. We're very excited to let you know that early December, we'll be releasing the first trailer for Grand Theft Auto. For the next Grand Theft Auto. We look forward Didn't to... Didn't you make a mold of your b-hole? So would I... All right. Um, yeah. That's going to be fucking crazy. I, 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 playing Red Dead 2 late. I was late to the Red Dead 2 party, and I'm like, damn, video games can be like this? He confirmed that there is no butt plug in the cake, but there is a butt plug at 242 in the video. Brother, 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 if there's no butt plug in the cake, brother, 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 if there is no butt plug in the cake, brother, what is this sticking out of the cake? Brother, brother. Brother, if there's no butt plug in the cake, get on a call right now. If there's no butt plug in the cake, what is this, brother? Hold on. What is that sticking out of my fucking eye, huh? If that's... What is that, then? Brother, if there's no butt plug in the cake, brother, what is that, huh? Huh? What is that poking out of there? That looks like a clear... That's my dick. <laughs> uh, it looks like he fingered the icing. Oh, wait a minute. You are so right. He, you're right. It's a smear. No, you're right. It's a smear. So with that in mind, uh, an anonymous gifter, thank you for the 10 more reasons why they shouldn't ban us um, to help Wubby prove his point. Is this a clip on Twitch? Thank you. So with, I'm going to show this clip. This is from the very talented Ariel. This is from Ariel. And this is still on Twitch right now. So here she is. She's hanging out in her hot tub. We, you know, good for her. Okay. All right. On Twitch. It's fine with that. I've, you know, I'm, we're not shaming. You can check her out. Yep. Yep. Get your name on the board, guys. Monday, thank you for the five. All right. 
So now I have a clip. This has got banned on Media Share. I don't think it should have been. Um, later, he has a cock sleeve on, and it's very, very like the veins of the fake penis are very drawn. We're not going to show that. But this guy right here, he's a fan. He's about to go swimming. By the way, he already told me he's he this is he does this to he always does this to prepare for swimming. But this got removed from Media Share, and I saw some hate for it. And I wanted to make sure we we show the give the people what they want. So here he is um, in his bikini that he wears for swimming. Always. He always wears this to go swimming. So let's uh, let's give him a chance to, to land here. So here we go. And ride on it. And let's watch it one more time here. Let's let it run. Ride on it. One more time. Ride on it. And I just want to let this guy know your efforts did not go uh, unappreciated. Now, again, I want to remind chat. Anyone saying enjoy your vacation? I would like to remind chat here that this attire is not only allowed on Twitch, um, but... Uh, I would say it's that's not even as graphic as you know. I, I don't I don't care about either. I like both. I think both should be allowed. And and keep in mind, guys, uh, he was doing that right before going swimming, which he did confirm for me. And the rest of the clip, with Twitch would have to find if they're gonna ban me. The rest of the clip, he literally is he's in a pool. He's in a kiddie pool. It's off screen. You can't see. I don't even think he realized that cake was there. I don't even think he realized the cake was there. And in the full clip, he goes, "Oh fuck, shit." And then he and then he jumps into the pool, which is what you know is just. I got eighteen excuses. <laughs> which one do you want? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. He was yes. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. See in ten days. There's no way, bro. It's not a butt plug. It's a fucking icing scoop. Okay. Relax. That was a freshly shaved ass. Really? Hers or his? <laughs> um, all right. Next. Almost made me um, run into an elite patrol. What? Is, oh, shit. Say my fault. Have you seen Ariel Gumwall video? What? 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 This is not her. This is not her. This is the same girl whose whole asshole we just saw. I bet you can't clown me, Colby. I bet you can't clown me, Colby. Oh! <laughs> Why do you click links from chat? I don't know. Oh my god, was this recent? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Can you fix her chat? Let me know. Can you fix her? Did she die? I think she's dead. I think she's dead. Chat, I think it's over. You never seen that? That was really recent. Didn't you just explain your own question just now? You didn't see that? That just happened. <laughs> uh, all right. Up next. <clears throat> we'll talk about Boogie in a minute. But first. Oh, content announcements. Let's get some content announcements out there. So first. Um. We have uh, um, upcoming, we're going to be doing a WoW grid stream, which is very important because there's permadeath in WoW. So we're going to need to figure out, so that's that's not tonight, but I'm giving you guys a, a, some, some streams that are going to be coming up in the next month and even beyond. So we're going to be doing a classic hardcore wow stream but grid edition which means you can donate to put an image on screen and it's very important because it will be covering the screen it's going to be horrible and things will die and it will be great Uluan, thank you for the 20 subs brother we'll see how that goes i don't know how it's going to go um but yeah uh then also we are going to be doing a new and improved uh uh wubby spelling bee coming up soon uh how is that going to work? Well, we 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 found a, we're making the spelling bee more of a game, and we're going to do another spelling bee because last time that we did a spelling bee was a lot of fun. I'm going to do another one of those soon. Uh, and then also, I wanted to announce now because as much time as possible is best. The next peel box stream we do is going to be the christmas peel box stream, and we did this once before, and I would like to do it again this year. And let me explain how this works. I'm. It's going to be peel box. You guys send me your shit. It's cool shit, whatever. However, because it's Christmas peel box, I will be doing something different for the subs, for the mods, for longtime subs, for new subs, whatever it is. 
where I'm going to give you guys presents. We did this uh, one year before. I think we did this on over COVID. I don't remember, but we've done it once before. I will have a bunch of presents and uh, you guys can send me your stuff and then I will give you guys presents as well. So uh, even on band accounts, we'll tr we will try to do an, a band request before then. Uh, that stream was so much fun. It was very wholesome and it was very cute. And last year we were giving away, or the year before when we did, we were giving away PlayStations and Switches. It was a lot of fun and a few of you got some really cool things and I, I hope you guys liked it. And uh, so there you go. Can we send you drugs? No matter what the answer would be in real life, the answer is no. Do you know what I'm saying? I won a monitor last time. Well, there you go, man. Congrats. I believe it was our birthday stream. It was a birthday stream? No, but we did whatever it was. Whatever it is, I want to do it this way. Um, and that's going to be fun, and I hope you guys enjoy. I want to do no P.O. Box in November, so if you're going to send me something, please just wait. P.O. Box is going to be in December. We're going to do a Santa-themed Christmas P.O. Box where I give you guys presents as well. Okay? Okay? Sound good? Sound good to me? Can you give me that dick? No. Oh, wait. I need to change the background back. Uh, do you guys feel safe now in the woods with me? You feel safe and warm. Um, I got a third. Okay, we can't be coming back to this, but I did just read this now. I got a 31 month sub in my whispers telling me about how his ex wife pooped on him as a sexual thing while they were married. Call him. Yo, Jay Z, is he able to? Is he available for a call? Bro, I'm just gonna read this out loud. This is crazy to me, bro. Can you believe steak? Can you believe this offer, chat? I just gotta be straight up with you. Um, this is crazy to me. So steak, steak. I'm, I, dude. I'm just. I don't even care. I needed to hear this. This is crazy to me. Stake like the ga the casino, the online casino, right? Okay. I've, I've always said before, I've said it once, I've said it again. Of course, I would abs I always punch myself in the face. I would absolutely do a uh, uh, gambling sponsorship if the, if it was fucking ludicrous, right? The, everyone's got a price and I'm, I'm everyone, right? Can I read you what they just sent me fucking 40 minutes ago? This is so crazy, dude. Like, I'm sorry. This is so, like, who the fuck is accepting deals like this? All right, listen, listen, listen. Okay, so, so, or maybe I shouldn't, because this is basically burning that bridge. What is this deal? Like, I, listen, I'm sorry, but they have maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But, like, I don't know. I, don't, I feel like, I feel like when you get a stake sponsorship at this point, you need to be set. Because you're telling your community, hey, I'm getting hella money. And that's why I'm selling out. And if you're not getting hella money, you're selling out for, you lose both sides. You lose both sides. You lose your audience's like understanding and you don't get the money. Uh, wasn't good enough content. He me he messaged a few other mods. Uh, okay. We decided it wasn't worth it. All right, all right, all right. Listen, I'm I, I, like, nah, fuck steak and fuck kick. Right, but you say that, but like if they give you a huge bag, fuck it, right? right now so like okay here's the thing right amazon is getting expensive oh obviously getting expensive like okay so the whole deals that they're offering right now are uh uh and like an they'll pay you to gamble per hour right and then you get a and then you get to keep whatever you start at like uh you keep the winnings and the balance at the end of the stream right here's the problem though right Chat, what's interesting in gambling? Is it low bets or high bets? What what keeps viewers interested? Betting 10 cents, a dollar, or hundred dollars? High bets, right? High bets. So that means, right, high. Obviously, high bets are more interesting, right? They just objectively are. Higher bets bring more excitement, bigger losses, right? Bigger wins too. But you win a huge thousand X on a dollar bet, you win a thousand bucks. You win a thousand X on a thousand dollars. I mean, you're running around your room, okay? So it's like, okay, well, what are you going to pay me an hour? I don't know if I shouldn't say this. I don't, it's just, it's like... <laughs> their offer 
it's just it it's gonna seem high to you guys but i'm gonna explain why it's just crazy how not they said he, i just got a message like yeah we can offer you 3k an hour and you can keep what you win and i'm like dude I'll lose 3K in an hour keeping my chat entertained and then I'm net zero, but my whole audience think I took a gambling sponsorship. That's crazy. It's like 3K an hour and I have to gamble with that payment is absurd. That's crazy bad. Can you haggle? Bro, I've been talking to these people for months and I'm like, listen, if I'm going to say Wubby X stake, people are going to be mad. So if people are going to be mad, I need to make enough money to piss off people, right? 3K an hour could leave me negative. I don't, I don't know if you guys are hearing me. 3K an hour could leave me negative. That's crazy bad. 3K an hour is like... Divide that. How, like, what, what amount? Like... Uh, uh, it's got it's gonna be low bets just to make a little bit of money now i want to be clear here i'm not saying 3k an hour isn't if you handed me 3k an hour for streaming i'd be making bank it's not 3k an hour to stream i'd be getting 3k an hour for each hour i'm gambling on stake which means i'd be hitting penny slots just to maximize that 3k in my pocket and then chat are you even watching that's so fucking boring that's $50 a minute. Bro, that's two hands of blackjack in 10 seconds. That's less than I do at a casino in real life. If you play one hand of blackjack a minute, that's 50 hands. $50 hands. That's... That's... That's $20 spins. I understand that $20 spins isn't necessarily low, but that's... You got to realize, you're playing with what you're getting paid. Move on. No one care. I'm just going to... You're banned. I'm banning you. I don't care how long of a sub you are. You're banned. Move on. No one care. You're, you're done. Uh, you see that XUCA's wagers are almost 3 billion. I did see that. I did see that. It's just, it's like, I don't know. I'm, I'll just call a spade a spade here right now. You know, you see Nick Merckx uprooting his whole fucking family and he's live on kick with like 8,000 viewers. And it's like, okay, so you're not paying him 3k an hour. <laughs> you know, you're, you know, you're not, you know, you're not paying, you know, you're not paying him 3k an hour to gamble. I know that. Uh, if you get approximately 5k an hour, you're definitely going to lose money. Yeah, I know, dude. It's crazy, bro. Oh, wait, wait, did you just add the guy who said, I lost his name, so I actually wanted to ban him. Where did he go? We got more to talk about tonight. This, just, this wasn't even in my notes. This just came up. I looked over at my Discord DMs, and I saw that, and I'm just like, crazy. Protect him. I don't give a fuck. Um, 3k is plain insulting. Well, it's, here's the thing, right, chat? We all know... Three, oh, thank you, Dwayne. <laughs> we all know 3K an hour is more money than any of us could ever hope to make an hour. We all want that, right? But what if I said, I'll give you 3K an hour to go gamble and whatever you end up with, you keep. You know how quickly you would be negative? You, you would, that money would be gone. 3K an hour gambling is like kind of a joke, especially when you're gambling for content. <laughs> I'd go penny slots and... Okay, wait, wait, Ben. Exactly what Ben just said. I'd sit on penny slots and go very slowly. Exactly. It would be very boring to watch. You know what I mean? Exactly, right? I would do the same. I would be min-maxing to get as much money as possible, so I'd be sitting there on a penny slot clicking as slow as possible. But then at that point, why am I even doing a sponsorship? It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. That only works for like the 15 to 20 hour per day degens but chorzo it doesn't even though think about it like this it doesn't even because if you're gambling for 15 to 20 hours you're gonna be going negative so at that point i'm gonna piss off a chunk of my community to lose money no thank you i'll just sit here and yap and coast with the boys i don't even need to open this can of worms i've been so honest with you guys and i think you guys would feel the same listen you got a huge fucking amount of money, you would probably advertise just about anything. Of course you would. Anybody would. I'm not going to sit here and fence ride on high horse. Of course I fucking would. I would do almost anything for a check. Of course I would. And you should too, by the way. You absolutely should, right? Pause, right? But goddamn, after I say that, I can't put my name on stake and then be like, hey guys, well actually this month I managed to get 
negative two thousand dollars with my stake sponsorship charizard thank you for the five what if you got greek god x in discord and go off screen screen okay yeah that's a good call we'll do that in my in my yeah that's a good call um it'd be entertaining if you took a shot for every hundred dollars you lost i'd be dead in 20 minutes i'd be dead in 20 minutes uh all right well that's it just fuck them then yeah i mean that's it i mean i, I said i probably should do a slow roll 24-hour gambling stream make your 72k see lurker if i if to, okay here's the other thing they cap it just so you know there's there's a cap on how many hours you could do if you're totally right if i just slow rolled and said hey guys i'm playing that but that would be burning the bridge Whoopee! in a different way is solitary going to become the new canada's worst driver where we go balls deep and then you forget about it pretty much yeah um um that's such a okay that is a good call right could i not accept the deal oh, what? and then do a hold on wait a minute accept the deal do a dubathon put stake on my screen play penny slots for a week straight and just get a fat bag no but see they, they would they would see that and they'd go ah uh, no we're done it, it's over we're cutting it right They'd call you. Yeah, I know. I didn't meet. They'd immediately be like, "What are you doing?" I don't know, man. Kick is putting their eggs in weird fucking baskets. I'll be the first to say, "Fine, maybe I'm a risky, weird, not important basket." That's fair. That's totally fair. Let's take me out of the equation. There's some we like the people they're grabbing. It's like you. They keep grabbing more of the same. They're they're fishing from the same pond. It seems. Um, 24 hours equals seventy-two thousand dollars. That's insane. Right, but the pr here's the problem with it, Chad, that you keep missing. I have to gamble during that time, and I'm either going to be losing all of it or boring you with penny slots, and I don't like either of those scenarios. You know what I mean? Um, they got the juicer for a steal for only a hundred million. I think the problem that they did is they painted themselves into this corner where everyone thinks Kick is giving people bags, and they're not. So now if you go to kick or you go to stake, your audience is going to assume you're rich and, and they'll walk away. Right. And it's like, I can't be going to stick and stick, stick, stick and cake. <laughs> Watch XQC has to gamble with the hundred mil. Yeah, probably, I mean, he has to gamble, but he has enough. That's the thing. Uh, to be fair, you could yell about anything with penny slops. I don't want to do it. All right. All right. All right. Move on. We'll move on. We got so distracted. We got so distracted. Um, I want to get the bag so I'd watch the penny slots. I think they would cut it though. That's the problem, chat. They would see what I'm doing and they would cut it. They would cut it. Hey, bro. Right. I appreciate hey. the magnificent waifu cups, but why aren't there any femboy cups? Seems like money on the table. I don't think it is. I think I think we like femboys, but I don't think we I don't think femboys would sell as well. Obey. What about the luscious curved taper of a dolphin or orca? Dragons have bumps and ridges, tapered and knotted. Horsecock is just glorified, uncomfortable human cock. Do it and call it the scam, the scammer stream. Go till they cut it. The th <laughs> I think I think they already have a hard cap on the amount of hours. I think it's 50 hours a month. Fuck, that would... You know what, chat? That's not a bad idea. Accept a deal with stake. Accept the, the one month. Stream it on, do a quick dubathon on kick of just live for two days. Just do a two day stream of being on stake, do penny slots, get $150,000, walk away, and take chat to Disneyland. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Sit on a penny slot and just click my mouse every 30 seconds. That's actually not a bad idea, chat. You guys want to go to Disneyland or what's up? Yeah, KC, now we're talking 150K in two days, chat. That is in, inconceivable. Uh, who said you just have to do slots? Nobody did. Nobody. I'm saying we're trying to make sure we lose as little as possible because I'm, I'm gambling with what Get I'm making. Get T to write a script to run it for you. TT, if you could come up with that, I might just hard accept this deal right now. You Fuck, could set I up even... one of those drinking birds to click for you. Oh my god, I just thought of an idea. Hold on. What what if I'm not even present for it? What if I just pre-record like an hour loop of me Brand wrist sent reacting? What like is the oh my god. 
That would be fucking crazy. <laughs> Bro, that would be fucking crazy. Delete the mod. Relax. Hey, everybody chill, everybody chill, everybody chill, 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 chill. Do what? Do what? scam uh we're talking about we're talking about if if i so stakes deal is like they want to pay me a few thousand to to gamble um but i have to be using that money to gamble and it's hourly and i was telling chad how it's not a good deal because i'd be losing the money it's not enough to actually keep the gambling stream going then we thought well, what if we just do a two-day stream and we play the cheapest penny slot and we have an auto clicker just click the penny slot for two days so we lose as little money as possible and maximize every hour on stake. I don't know, bro. Don't do it. You'll be telling. Don't do it. You'll be telling other advertisers you're not trustworthy. Oh, hold on. Let me check my other advertisers real quick. I think they're okay. I mean, they're all in the room with me. <laughs> I mean, they're all right here. Let chat on vote. Let chat vote on games to play. And then chat can... This is a good idea! Man, it's almost like we actually have, like, interesting ideas and fun streams we can bring to the table. Um, it'll change the gambling meta and potentially fuck it up. You're saying 7k an hour as a counteroffer? I st can I be honest with you? I want... Fuck your mother money. To be honest. 200k an hour? Now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> uh, all right. Hold on. Let's move on. We're done talking about this. We can talk about it off stream. Uh, but yeah, that's interesting. Interesting. Hi, interesting. Wubby, I'm a gambling addict, and I think this is an awesome idea. <laughs> Not only stupid low, but then also have to take out taxes of winnings and earnings. Yeah, it would be bad. It would. I would lose money from that deal. And I and I'm a little like floored that that's what they came back with after I kind of I mean I can just read you what I said. Um, <clears throat> my only issue is keeping it more interesting and profitable, interesting for the audience and profitable. The number has to be quite high. Like let's say I'm earning 50k an hour. The betting can be exciting, um, but you can burn through 50k like that. 5k an hour isn't a lot, but that would mean much less in bet size. And they countered with 3K in response to what I just said to you. That was their counter. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. That is crazy. Um, it's like an insulting counter. I know, it's like they just, it's fine, which is fine. It's like, we don't have to work together. Um, <clears throat> whatever, okay. Um, moving on. We'll talk about Boogie in a second, but first, a little cool little fun thing I, I, I saw today. I don't know if it was on the subreddit. I saw on the Magic the Gathering subreddit, but here's a little magic for the day. Here's a little magic for the day. Oh, here we go. Unfortunately, Wubby, since you do not have a younger fan base per se, you will not receive one of the larger contracts. They are interested in the large streamers with a younger fan base to generate new addicts. That's crazy that they want younger folks for a gambling sponsorship. That's crazy. And also kind of evil. That's the thing. I've never had a problem advertising shit to you guys because most of you are adults. Sorry, the stats don't lie. Overwhelmingly, the majority of you guys are adults. That's why we do meetups at bars and not fucking Chuck E. Cheese. Um, all right. So this is kind of fun. And I'm, I'm not an expert in a lot. I'm good at a few things. Chat, name something I'm good at. Name something I'm good at. Go ahead. I'll wait. And if you say eating your band... What am I good at? Talking. Okay, nothing. Mean. Losing weight! Being fat. You can't say both. Actually, I could be good at both. Yapping. Glorg moments. Being authentic. Fuck you, dude. Shitting. How about magic? I'm not good at magic, but I'm better than the History Channel because this got linked me today, and it's actually kind of interesting, and it's kind of fun, and we're going to watch and react to it. Um, Pawn Stars Do America. Chum Lee's $150,000 gamble on a magic deal. I hate Pawn Stars. I used to like it when I was a kid, and I'd watch it with my papa and my mama, and it all seemed real to me, and then you get older, and you're like, holy fuck, this show is fake as hell. I already watched this. There is some interesting juice in it. We're going to talk about it, and it's fun, but here we go. Uh... This is at Glensheen Mansion. I live right by where this was filmed. Hey, man, 
Thank you for that. That's a really interesting fact. I saw Chumley at an airport with a like a doodles walking around. He is a he's a mobile three. What do I mean by that? He's he is he has full mobility. He can walk, right? He 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 moves. Normally a three would be probably bedridden, but he is just he is not a good looking guy. I saw him at an airport and he was with an he was with a, a 10, a smoke show. And I'm like, that is Pawn Star's money right there. I mean, this it was it was like night and day. I was worried for her health being that close to him. He's just a strange looking guy. Uh Chun Li is a 10 as well. We're talking about Chum Li. Not Chun not Chun Li. He's got an orbit. She was stuck in it. <laughs> He, he pays people with those like animal control things to like pull people out of his orbit. He's not even that fat, okay? He's not fat at all. It just he's a strange individual. Go ahead. Good. How you doing? You know what that is? God, even I'm just gonna say right now. Even I'm gonna magic for a bit. This is my magic for the day, and then we're gonna talk about a uh, uh, boogie. Um, he's charged with federal gun charges and selling drugs. 2016. A star from the Las Vegas reality TV show Pawn Stars was arrested during a sexual assault investigation Wednesday. Officers raided his home and discovered illegal substances. He was arrested for, for sex crimes? How is he just back on History Channel, bro? I'm telling you, every totally other- Totally exudes cardiac arrest. <laughs> How, dude? Money? He had meth? Meth money? Damn. Damn. Well, all right. Where were we? You know what that is? Um, a beta Magic the Gathering starter deck? Yes. I feel this is so fake right at the gate. I do not believe he knew what that was at a glance. It wow. Is. I'm kind of in awe right now. This is something that you don't see every day, if ever. I mean, Magic the Gathering is such a popular game. It just continues Real. and continues to grow, especially Real. over the last few years. Now, Magic the Gathering has a bazillion cards. But of course, when this deck came out, they didn't have very many cards. It was just the first set. So this is beta, right? It would have been the second printing? Yes. Real. If I'm not mistaken, this is just a pre-made deck ready to play the game. What I know about it is when you open random cards in them, there's pretty much commons, uncommons, and rare cards, and there's two rare cards inside of it. Okay. That's really the, the mystique of a sealed deck like this, is you don't know what's inside, and that has a lot of value in itself. So how did you get this deck? I've been buying them online when they come available, because there's not too many of them. When I open them up, I never get really valuable rares, and I just I get disappointed. I'm kind of cutting my losses here. Okay, I mean, mm. Magic is one sure. of those games where some of the cards are very expensive and you need them to play your deck, but you also want them for your collection. So right. you have players and collectors battling for the same cards. Not like. Actually, fair. Actually, real. Good insight from Meth Man. Like Chumley was I charged played. with 20 felony counts, including drug and weapons charges, did a plea deal that calls for three years of probation and counseling. Damn, brother! Brother, breathe! Collectors battling for the same cards. Not like in other games like Pokemon that I play where the playable cards are usually fairly cheap. Yeah. And the ones that... It, okay. Maybe true to an extent, but you can... I'm sorry, but Booty has sat down... I've had a multi-thousand dollar deck at the table and Booty has sat down with a $30 deck and, and cooked the whole table. Just saying, it's not always the case. It's not pay to win necessarily. My dog deck was $11. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Just because I run Gaia's Cradle and every green deck doesn't mean I win every game. All right? That people want to collect. In Legacy, though. Why are you playing Legacy and Vintage? I use the expensive ones. How much are you looking to get for this deck? All right, here we go. I'd like I'll, to get... This is, this is where I come in. This is where my vast magic knowledge comes in. This legitimately looks like a like a a human like a weasel that was cursed to become a human i don't know why i don't like this guy i don't trust him i don't like the way he Here's looks the expensive ones how much are you looking to get for this deck i'd like to get forty thousand for it bit high bit high actually quite a bit high in my opinion especially if you don't have like who are you 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 don't just walk in with a deck and be like i have this deck it's for sale will you want to buy it you got to know where it came from it's got to come from a trusted seller Unfortunately, at this kind of shit too, you gotta uh, uh, like know somebody who knows somebody. You don't sell this type of shit unless you can cite one of like thirty dudes in the community who can vouch for you. Otherwise, 
It's, it's dog shit. Okay. Um, I'm intrigued. They are hard to Provenance, get, boys. Provenance. Know, these decks can be resealed. I would like to... I know all about it, Chumley. We have um, my CGC card expert come over and take a look at it. He's walking around somewhere. Oh, really? Okay, sure. You mind waiting here while I go find him? I don't mind. There's the price that you should pay right there. Seven ninety five. If I had a time machine, bro, how many... God, how many washed up losers say stuff like that? Oh, man, you see that? Mike used to throw a football over that mountain over there. <laughs> if I could go back, if <sighs> he would just put me in in fourth quarter. Oh, things would be so different. <laughs> Actual Uncle Rico moment right here. Oh, if I just had a... If I bought it on a 795, oh, I'd throw a football over that mountain. <laughs> would have won state. <laughs> yes, Chad. Oh, I would have won state. I know. I don't mind. This is Matt. I was telling you about him. Hey, Matt Quinn. Hey, how you doing? I'm Steve. Matt Steve, nice to meet Quinn. You. Nice to meet you. So, this is supposedly a, a beta Magic the Gathering deck. You were telling me that it was something early and great from Magic. I mean, this is an important piece of Magic history right here. These True. beta decks are hard to come by. I mean, they're literally only in print for about a month. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that dreams are made of. He looks like he sells items with unintended side effects for cheap from a sketchy storefront. Is he the fucking devil? Oh my god, he does look like the devil from Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> TT, that is Magic perfect. The Not him, the the, the seller. Of course. <laughs> ah, that's so good. Beta Magic the Gathering deck sealed. I mean, just the condition looks pretty good. Um, with sealed product like this, I always am nervous. I'm just not gonna lie. Good, good advice. That's always a gamble with these decks, chum, is that this randomized. So you get 60 cards random, you get two rares, 13 uncommons, and then yep. 45 commons. If I were you, chum. He's like, yeah, let's let's pop it open. Instantly. You know, I think the best bet here is buying it to open it in that way. That right, I'm gonna okay. So here's where this expert half the reason I wanted to show this video to you guys is because this is so first off, this video is doing very well. Came out two days ago. This is new. This expert really do be spitting things that I don't understand where he's getting this from. So listen to what he says again. Commons and then 45 commons. If I were you, chum, you know, I think the best bet here is buying it to open it in that way. That is widely agreed the worst thing you can do with sealed product across the board now maybe it was edited maybe the the c i i, I can understand maybe cgc said something like hey you should open it to verify if it's real you should open it for the the, the content of the cameras here you should open it and we could you know whatever but in general Opening magic cards, vintage, is almost a, it's like a 99% loss. You do it for the culture, the content, or you want the cards, right? That's really it. Way you have a guarantee when you open it that if it's fake, you don't buy it. So that's the other thing too. If he's, so this is where it gets tricky, right? If Chumley buys it and opens it and it's fake right then and there, that is good to know. But here's the reality, right? There's so much magic sealed product out there that's sitting in people's houses that is just fake and no one's ever gonna know because they're never gonna open it. There is probably millions of dollars worth of sealed product, supposed millions of dollars with sealed products sitting in people's houses and storage boxes and safes that's fake uh, that is, is uh, nobody knows and nobody will ever know. Like that chick with the dad, I think a lot of chicks have dads. So I'm gonna have to open it, make sure it's authentic, grade everything, get my money back like that. I think that's the best play for you, chum. Um, so I mean, let's hope for the Lotus, right? So everyone's yeah. happy and I get to pull a Lotus, that'd be awesome. What's a safe number for me to buy this at if I'm gonna open it up? Um, you know, I would say the best number would probably be right around twenty-three dollars to $25,000. <clears> All right. Honestly, not bad. Not a bad price. If you know where it's coming from, it's well, not a bad I price. I better get this negotiation underway then. Do you mind sticking around yeah. while I see if I can buy this? Okay, I mean, good luck. I mean, it's a beautiful deck. This what is do you think? Would you take 23? To be honest, I online I bought it for 30,000. Fleeced, brother! Fleeced! How about this? I'll, I'll give you 25,000 for it. I'll take all the risk. If there's a Black Lotus in there, I will split it with you. Well, since I get to see the cards that are inside of it too, that I think I'll... I'll accept that. All right. Bro, how, why are you selling? How bad do you need this money right now? Like, you're already selling it at a $5,000 loss. What are you? Hold it, dude. What are you doing? Let's hope for a black boat lotus, boys. We'll all be happy. We ready to open this? I'm okay, so this is where things get painful for me.
Nervous, but yes. OK, well, once we pop the plastic, there's no going back. Oh, this is a big moment in my TCG life. Yes, it is. So here we go. OK, so we got our, our two rares right here. So there's one there and one here. The print run for rares is only 1,100 cards each. Right here, should we just go right after the rares? Let's go right for the rares, Matt. Th does this not just bother you immediately? They don't even care about the other cards. They, they, clearly, nobody knows what they're doing. The, the, the expert has an understanding, but Chumley has no care, no understanding. He's just, oh, you get to the, let me see if I made money. Can you get to the rares? It's, I know it's like, you know, this is the definition of like being an evil investor, right? I appreciate every comment that you just spent $30,000 on this shit. Flip and rip one of them. XQC shit. I mean, it really is just degenerate. Like, did I make my money? I need to know. Okay, here we go. So they're going to flip the rares. There's two rares. I okay. can't take the suspense anymore. Well, same time. All right. Same time. Same time. And you guys are saying fake. I believe most of this was fake. I believe what's about to happen here, based on the reactions, is very real. The reactions from this guy and this guy seemed really real. Let's see. Two headed Oh, recall! Oh my god, power nine. Oh wow. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Wow, that's a piece of power, chum. That's I one mean, of the top three pulls, right? Yeah, I mean, that's like one of the Halo cards you can pull. How's I mean, the centering look? Goosebump. The centering looks amazing. I mean, so he pulled the power nine. One of the best cards you can pull. Huge pull. Historic. We got Santa. Everybody's floored. Literally, you just made up the entire value of what you paid in that one card plus more. Wrong. This is why I want to show you the whole video. Dead wrong. Total fabrication. Here we go. This card is going to make you a lot of money, chum. <laughs> uh, this card is centered nicely. I don't see any problems with the corners, the edges of the surface. It would be worth probably $150,000. Not even close. I Where the fuck did you even get that from, Grandpa? I, I understand. I'm, listen, maybe you're on a show. Let me give you the reality here, guys. Okay, first off, anyone holding a car, I don't even care if you're from CGC, anyone holding a card going, this is going to be a 9.5, you're stupid, right? You're stupid. You could say, I hope it looks like it could be. I'm hopeful, whatever. But he is valuing this as if that's already happening. And even then, let's say God, lightning, amazing, everything happens, and this card comes out a 9.5 BGS, right? We're looking at like... Under 20K? I, uh, maybe, may, or may, maybe 20K, 20, maybe 25K, may, depending, depending. Like, let's stop, okay, I would say, I'll give a range. I shouldn't give that. I'll, I'll say between 9.5 beta ancestral recall, I'm going to say between 15 and 25K. 15 and 25K, at the very least. Maybe, you're, maybe you want to say, well, you're off by 10, 20%. His evaluation was $150,000. Uh, this card is centered nicely. I don't see any problems with the corners, the edges of the surface. It would be worth probably $150,000. <laughs> Where the fuck are you getting that for? Like, really? I, if this, I, 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 I really want to talk to this guy. Where are you, e where does that even come from? Chumley, you're looking at $3 billion. This is life-changing. Are you sitting? You need to sit. There's a nine for 7k on ebay right but here's the thing right the discrepancy between a 9 and 9.5 especially with a set as old as as og as beta is pretty massive 9.5s in alpha and beta are like really sought after because they're really rare the difference between a 9 and 9.5 is pretty massive i'm putting it between 15 and 25k i put it up for auction the market's really down right now i would say 15 and 25k Hallelujah. Congratulations. A, a tough pill for you to swallow. It stings. But that's 25. I really do feel bad for the seller, though. He looks like um, he looks like he's really hurt by this. And that uh, there's no his reaction. Uh, well, it, uh, it kind of stings like, damn, that. Hallelujah. Yeah. Congratulations. A, a tough pill for you to swallow. It stings. But that's twenty five thousand dollars. There's a, there's a there's a nine five on TCG right now for thirteen point three. OK, not bad. All right, I was closer than him. Closer than him. Uh, does this guy have a pinky ring? I don't know. Yeah. And a That's lot a good more question, yours, though. but I'm glad I got to see it. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. You're not glad. Wow. Nice deck. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You go right to this counter, they'll pay you 25000 Thank you. Oh, Chumley, why you got to say that? Right. Oh, right then in there. You go to this counter, we'll give you your fucking chump change, you poor pedophile goblin loser. <laughs> 
All right, this is a little exciting for me. I need to go get some water. Okay. Oh, really? Are you are you jumping out of your seat, Chumley? I can tell the excitement is is oozing through your veneers. Okay. Would you like some? You I'll take some water. I'll, I'll do this leaving. All right, you sleeve these up. I'll get us some water. Yeah, we don't want Chumley to sleep. He's never fucking touched a card in his life. Perfect. Can we look at the uncommons for God's sake? Jesus, can we anything? Oh God, it's okay. So there it is. I just I wasn't even gonna show this. I wasn't even going to show that video to you guys, but the, the evaluation at the end was so fabricated. It actually drove me crazy. I could not even believe it, how fake that evaluation was. And I know it's Pawn Stars, I know. But I listen, chat, I'm not an expert on uh, Baby Ruth Bubblegum Andy, uh, Silly Lily Billy Lips signing a baseball. I have no clue what that's worth. So when some guy comes in, it's like, hi, I'm an expert in Billy Bob, Billy Lips, uh, Bubblegum Baby uh, uh, baseballs. And, and, and oh, it's worth $10,000. I Okay, I believe it. But with magic, I understand, so I can call it out. See, you see he's lying publicly, and it should be embarrassed for them. Um, yeah, that's, I will be honest, that is a bad look. That is a bad look. I don't hate CGC or anything. I have cards from CGC. I like their grading. But um, that guy represented them really poorly. That's what Alex calls when he's got the diaper on. What? Leave me alone. I know a 10 in beta is impossible, but would a gem mint 10 be worth 150k? That is tough. Uh, uh, okay, so if it was a 10, if we're if it's just a basic 10... That would that would definitely start pushing it. That that one is one. I don't think it'd be worth 150k. Maybe a black label, which would be all 10 subgrades. But again, those are really hard to gauge the price of because, in my opinion, that would be uh, you put it up for auction, and you see what it goes for, and then that's what it goes for. You know, is the TTS off? There, it's on. The only one posted was 35k. It was for Gemmin. Yeah, that sounds fair. Yeah. Bro was touching with his dirty, greasy fingers. He was touching the art on a beta Ancestral Recall, which did kind of hurt my soul. All right, guys. Can we talk about Booger? I just got one of my dream cards, Kaladesh Invention Sol Ring. It looks perfect condition. Do I play yep. it or grade it? Honestly, kind of want to play it, but, like, shit's expensive. Did you pull it? I'd, I wouldn't run a Kaladesh Sol Ring, to be honest. The Masterpiece Sol Rings, I wouldn't run it. Um... So you guys know Booger, Booger2988. Maybe you don't know him, but he, uh, he a documentary recently came out of him that everybody's talking about. Should, okay, we have an option here. Do we want to react to the documentary or do we want to react to like, like Critical put out a video on it that kind of sums it up. What would you prefer? Do you want to go through this the documentary? I will say this. I watched the documentary already. What about I a mint par nine with a big old fat hairy horse cock on it? Okay, what's going on with you tonight? I, I watched the documentary all the way, and I'm just going to react to Penny Slots. I'm just going to say this. Watch it. It's really good. I fucking loved it. It is... I have so much I want to say about it. I want to talk to you guys about it. It is oh, shit, fascinating to me. The Billy Bob Billy Lips. Congrats. Um, We all know who Boogie is, right? You guys know who Boogie is? This is Boogie. I have a, I have a confession to make. So, um, Boogie... In this documentary, it's kind of about his downfall. He has a very candid, and he's an ancient YouTuber. Ancient old YouTuber. He used to be the fucking dad of YouTube. Um, I was even oh, oh, I was even thinking about at the time when he was popular, he started with like skit videos. And uh, it's kind of hard to, to overstate his popularity. There was a point, I remember... I used to watch Boogie before I made videos myself. It would be something would happen on the internet. And Boogie would be the first. He would weigh in on it. One of the only YouTubers in existence. He would give commentary on it. And everybody fucking listened to him. He, like, I don't know how... He was what, what Charlie is now, what Critical is now. Boogie was doing that, I would even say, on a similar or bigger scale back in the day. I mean, everybody turned to him. It was, he gave the best takes. He would come out, he would say the best thing, the right thing. He was this big, sweet, wholesome guy. Um, and he just made everyone feel good and positive and yada yada, right? That was Boogie in his prime. He kind of got famous for these stupid little sketch comedy things that he would do. Ancient YouTube stuff. Uh, and then over the years, 
things started going bad for him. I, I, it, it, it's hard to explain, but what was once him being positive and everybody looking to him, he just became kind of negative and the audience he built did not really accept it well. And then instead of, I don't know, handling it well, he just argued with people on Twitter and it's gone very downhill. And now he is in this tragic loop of being a professional victim where all he does is come on content asking for money. It's, it's very, very bad. He got divorced. It, yeah. All bad. Uh, and also I DM'd him asking if he would sell me his magic cards a while ago. So I saw a trailer for this documentary. <laughs> I was like, Hey man, new age of YouTubers. I can afford them. <laughs> let me explain. Well, let me explain. Let me explain. Hold on. There's a scene. Let me explain, chat. There's a scene in this documentary. There was a trailer that got put out, and I saw it. I was like, oh, my God. This is going to be so interesting. How can I profit off it? I saw the trailer, and in it, Boogie goes to a magic shop to sell some of his cards to pay rent. He's struggling on rent, and he needs to pay. And in the thing, he's selling some guy's cradle, some valuable magic cards. So I hit him up. I went to Twitter. He follows me. So I, I DM'd him on Twitter. And I said, hey, man, you sold those cradles yet? And he said, yeah, man, I sold a few. I got a few more reserve list cards. And I said, yeah, man, if you got any big hitters, let me know. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's horrible. How am I horrible? I'm helping this man. What do you mean that's horrible? Why is everyone saying that's horrible? Hey, bud. Sorry you broke your leg. I guess you don't need that new bike anymore, right? Let's haggle. Okay. When you put it like that, that's fucked up. That's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. Okay. You realize that if you can't... Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to think of it like this. You just worded it in a very mean way. Right, you said, you said, oh, I broke your leg. You're not going to need that bike anymore. No, because your leg will be healed. Chat, this is, I want you to, that, that, that's not the same. Let me put it in a different context. Chat, pretend you were in Vietnam and you're dying. You've been shot in the chest by a Viet Cong soldier and you were bleeding out. There, there's no one coming. You are going to die. You're on your last leg. Okay. And you have a really cool pocket watch. Man, saying this out loud is not the play. You were so young, Chad. It's okay. Let me hold you. Let me hold you. I don't feel so good. Hey, it's okay. It's going to be okay. You don't want to be buried with that, do you? <laughs> listen, listen. Okay, okay. Let me ask you this, Chad. Let me ask you this. I, I, I know I'm unreal. You, I didn't say let me rob your cards, Boogie. I said, hey... If you're selling your magic collection, I would buy some. In fact, I'll be honest with you, okay? If I was like in a position like he was and I needed to offload my magic collection, I I would pray Mr. Mustache hits me up, right? Hey, bro, are you actually selling? I know you're you're looking to sell. I know you're on hard times. Are you looking to sell? I'd be like, yes, thank you. Sellers in my DMs, are you kidding me? In fact, I'm a fucking hero. In fact, they're gonna be writing stories about me and how I lowballed Boogie on some Gaia's cradles, bro. I'm laughing because it's it's just funny saying aloud. I watching Boogie the Box against Wings of Redemption was an experience, like watching Pikachu and Clone Pikachu fight at the end of the <laughs> Pokemon movie. <laughs> oh fuck, Boogie, that's hilarious. I, I genuinely though, I didn't I didn't reach out to him to be like a dick or anything. I, I legit saw he was selling his magic cards, and I'm like, oh, I like magic cards. All right, let's let's so the documentary we we can skip around. There is an important part here that we have to avoid. I believe it's at 37 minutes where there is a sex scene and it is relatively shown. I don't think it is in my opinion and this is just my opinion, it is less inappropriate than half the shit we see on in certain, you know, pools streams. I have no problem with either for the record. Porn should be on Twitch. That being said, I think Twitch would have a problem the because the seller and the CGC expert have been in other videos together. Check out the alleged Black Lotus pool video from CGC. Wait, what? Wait, what?
Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Where? I need a link. Wait, I'm trying to see Boogie throw some dick. All right, All right are you guys the ready? Pit. Lord of the Pitter Lotus, let's go. You guys ready? Let's do this. All right, All right are you guys ready? Lord there they both are! Lord of the Pitter Lotus, let's go. You guys ready? Let's do this. I'm so excited. It's emerald. Emerald, do you think? What? 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 It's all fake. Bobby, did you think that was actually real? Come on. No, I, I literally said I think almost all of this is fake. But I didn't realize that they, it was so fake that these two dudes knew each other and they. Don't even fucking sit here and act like you were, but I didn't know they were friends. That's cra That's a different level of fake, bro. That's a different level of fake. Whoa. That's crazy, dude. They did it with graded video games too. Graded video games. That was are definitely the a Black Lotus someone submitted to be graded. Dude, graded video games, and Ms. I want you to, I don't want Ms. Kip to hear this, okay? Graded video games are probably one of the greatest scams that people fell for ever in the history of the world. I'm sorry. Graded video games are so pumped and so falsely inflated. There is no demand like there is for the Whoopie for the dad, bids that are going on it. I know we're past the subject, Bro. but when I was deployed, a dude was he knows. seriously injured, and we had to go through his personal effects. The only thing of interest we found was a used pocket pussy. Carl Jobs made a video about it. Yeah, I think that's it's relatively old though. Um, and apparently Miss Kivari knows, but it was it is I'm I feel bad for people who invested a lot into it. Um because oh, there's a new one? What? I mean there's a new one. Retro video game market. <gasps> it came out 18 hours ago? Oh my god, what? Oh, the lord, my cup overfloweth, boys. Oh, this is too good. Oh, this is too good. Oh my god. Yes, dude. I And what, man, that's so validating that I just said how bad the video game market is, great video game market. It's a scam, guys. It is a fucking scam. And he, I'm sorry, even if you just look at the numbers, right? Okay, what a bla the print run for beta... Black Lotus is at most 1,100 in the entire world ever made, right? Every year, somewhere between what? A few percent of these just get lost to time. So how many beta Lotuses even exist on this planet, right? God knows, almost none. Pre-watched? I didn't pre-watch any of this shit. I didn't even know this came out, right? So wait, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, right? So that's why, oh, 1,100 is alpha. I'm so sorry. The point I'm making is there's so few of these. And then on top of that, on top of that, right, there were, the amount that stayed in good condition because thousands of kids played with these and ruined them, there's so, there's so few in good condition, so that's why they have value, right? Look at, hold on, hold on. Super Mario Bros. Pr print run. Look, okay, hold on, hold on. The original Super Mario Bros. How many of these got made? How many of these fucking got made? Super Mario Bros. How, how, many, how many of these got made? Super Mario Bros. Game original. Uh-huh. Let's see. Let's get an actual number. Uh where can we find this? Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I mean, we're talking millions, right? Millions, right? 58 million copies sold worldwide, and probably even more than 58 million exist. Right? Now, yes, you can make the argument, well, many of those were played and open. Sure, sure, but we're nowhere near the scarcity of like OG Magic cards. I'm talking 1100 is the max that could have ever even existed of Alpha Black Lotuses. 1100. 
versus 58 million, these things have no value. Almost no value. Almost no value. Even if you want to say 99% of them were opened, Wubby, that's still hundreds of thousands, brother. What are you talking about? The market is not there. It's and also not to mention there were so many fake bids and and people got caught bullshitting. Here we go. Hold on. Let's let's see. Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Hello, you absolute legends. In July of 2020, she kind of pink. Miskiff said he's he's at a loss of 400k currently. He won. The video game world was shocked when a sealed copy of Super Mario 64 sold for $1.5 million, by far the most expensive video game ever sold. In the years prior, sealed video games had skyrocketed in price, increasing in value by a thousand percent or more. This prompted me to look into the situation and find out what was happening. In August of 2021, I released a video calling out fraud and deception in the retro video game market. Minute more video. specifically, I outlined in detail how the video game grading company, Water Games, and the auction house Heritage Auctions colluded together to create an artificial speculative bubble. That's right, I forgot about that. They were like working together, allegedly. He said it, not me. Oh my god in order to funnel money from the public and personally profit. The response to that video was amazing, with almost universal agreement from the wider community that what was going on was not only morally wrong, but also likely- You're saying that seems, that seems ethically wrong, chat? Bruh. Ethically, I, I, this is illegal, I believe. Illegal. I did receive some pushback, however, from a small percentage of people. And one of the things some people disagreed yeah, people with is invested. that I said there was indeed a speculative bubble. Some people were upset by this, and they claimed there wasn't a bubble and that video games really were worth this much money. Hey, I got bad news, bro. I got bad news for you. There's too many of these. There's just too many of these that exist. I can maybe maybe give you the holiest of holy grail could have some value but there's just too many fucking copies bro there's just too many it wasn't that there was a bubble it was just that video games were previously undervalued and are now just catching up there's a whole meltdown on the subreddit what's going on, on the subreddit what's going on? what's going on, on the subreddit I'm on the subreddit. Where's the meltdown? What? Why do you? Okay, you're about to get banned. What? What? The guy you banned? It's the 40 month guy? 40 month perma ban? Uh oh. Yeah, it seems fair. Not even a timeout before. Like I wasn't even timeout before. It wasn't for my Twitch Prime. I would have straight up unsub. Really hope I can get, refund my gamer subs order. I'm done giving my money to this community. Hey, my brother, listen. Hey, I'm being, I'm gonna be a hundred percent serious with you. If you would have just hit up anyone, literally any one of the mods, anyone, we would have unbanned you. The, the ban was totally a joke. Now you're never getting a ban, bro. Are you? Have you lost your mind? Are you, what are you do? Are, yeah, are you serious, bro? You got banned on a total meme, and then we moved on. Is that annoying? Sure. We do it all the time. I banned someone today for just saying some dumb shit. If you reach out, you'll get unbanned. Hell, we j I just said we're going to be doing a ban appeal stream. Bro, you're 40 month sub. You should know that. Check his chat history. What the fuck, dude? You're so I what's his name? What's his name? That's crazy. You're so mad. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm excited to see his chat history, though. I mean, you're literally telling a streamer how to run their sh Guys, don't- hold on, hold on, chat. I see my audience defending me in this- don't even engage in that. The ban was a meme, bro. The uh, his name was not my- not my shad man. The ban was a meme, bro. I should- it, it, it's not about- you can tell me to move on. It's not the end of the world, right? You made a joke. I made a joke back at you. You got permud, right? If you would have hit me up off stream, I would have been like, "Oh, that's fair." Yeah, we don't. We're not actually trying to ban you. You're so stupid, dude. You are so dumb. All right, let's look at your fucking chat history now because everyone's telling me to check it. 
I mean, really, though, this is the kind of purge you need. You're soft, bro. Um. Oh, no way, bro! No way you're complaining on the subreddit when this is the shit you fucking put in my chat. Yeah, because this isn't boring, Pam and Webby. Bro, move on! This shit's boring as fuck! Is this gonna be the whole stream? This wasn't even this stream! Bro, you are a fucking retard, bro! You know what sucks for you? You can't refund those 40 months, bro! You can't! You gotta hold that forever, dude! That sucks! You're never getting unbanned! Oh my god, dude, you're so stupid! Oh my god, too soft, get out of here, I don't know who you thought I was, I don't know what you thought this stream- Look at- I even go back! Look at this! Bro, you got some other demons you gotta wrestle with because you've been giving money to someone who's been boring you for like three fucking years, dude! Maybe you should have figured that out three years ago, bro! Oh my god! How stupid are you, dude? When I stop liking content, I move on and I stop giving him money. What took you so long? Holy shit. Look, look, at look, look. I'm all the way back. Look, I'm months back. Look, this guy's been hating for years. Look at this. Look at this guy. Oh my God, you bro, you. I'm not, I'm gonna talk to, I know you're still here. I know you're still watching because you're seething right now, bro. You hate this stream. Why the fuck were you watching? Why were you giving it money? Bro, you're unwell. I'm not lying. You're you're chronically online. You're unwell, dude. You gotta stop. You gotta leave. I am saving you right now, dude. I am freeing you from the shackles of your own mind, bro. You gotta go. You're out. W ban. Goodbye. He hate watches. For real, dude. Bro is in every stream going, this is boring. I got the e I got great news for you. Move on. Holy shit. Meltdown on the subreddit. Yeah, he's having a meltdown. You're a you're a clown, dude. Crazy. You know, I knew about hate watch. I knew it. It's a thing. Everyone gets it. You can't prevent it. But hate paying? Hate paying? Bro's in his diaper with his little binky? That's some crazy shit. Hate watches and gives you money. That's gotta be new. Thank you, Jojo Rain, for the 10 subs. Got his little num num in? <laughs> Man, y'all so mean to him, too. I'm just looking at the thread now. This isn't an airport. <laughs> this guy said. So he replied, yet you're still commenting on my post, so what are you doing here? The guy replies, I'm not banned. <laughs> you just lost a pay pig? I mean, listen, I, uh, I think that guy was very mad and, and, and relatively unwell. So maybe he'll find something else to do. Crimson new type with 25. See, just like that. There, there's that guy's next two years of subs. I think we're okay. Oh no. Anyway, listen, I'll say this. And I hope that we can end on this with this guy. Hey man, listen, if any other people are in chat that feel in the same way as him, I never thought these right people to. existed. Damn. They do. They do. Okay, a lot of subs coming in now. I just got it. Hold on. Let me end with this. I'll think these subs in a second. Okay, a lot of subs. This is embarrassing. That's a lot of subs coming in right now. Everybody chill. Let me just say this. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine? <laughs> Should we unban him and just see if he keeps getting gifts? <laughs> Listen, let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. To anybody else who might be in the same position, I am not going to argue my stream isn't boring. I'm not going to argue that I'm funny or I'm entertaining. I'm not going to argue that anything. I don't need to. I don't care. You don't have to like it. What I am going to argue is I want to plead with you, right? If you feel that way, for your mental health, for your own sake, my brother, find another stream. Find a small streamer that you can give Prime to. Find a big streamer that you like that you can give a Prime to. My brother, you don't got to be here mad that stream isn't going the way you want. You don't have to. I promise you, you can go find something else. Go watch. If you want to laugh at someone, go find a lol cow. If you want to laugh with someone, there's plenty of big streamers or small streamers. I hope you're hearing me. Go. What is this? Bro, look at this chat history that text just pulled up. Bro has been hate watching. Look at this. What is this, bro? 
I love you, but fuck this fucking community. It's fucking worse, toxic as fuck. At this point, it's not even funny anymore. Dude, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Once is enough. If I felt this way for even a second, I'd be out of the community. I'd be done. This was from, this was from three years ago. Three years ago, he was feeling this way. My man, I hear you. You got to bounce then. You can't be staying here for this long. How do you slip through the cracks for so long? A lot of people be talking in chat. Oh, man. Bro, that's keep crazy. going. This shit interesting as fuck. Uh, 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 it just keeps going. We keep finding more shit. This is crazy from three years ago. This is when he started subbing. Okay, legit. Fuck this community. This has been the worst stream so far. Chat or fuck y'all retarded for doing this shit. What? It sounds like this was maybe a stream we did with the community. Wow. So many people here should be banned. Mod are not doing their job. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That was during a Dark Souls 3 stream. How could you be so mad? How did you pull that up so quick? That's crazy. I'm not here for TLC, but this chat is fucking... Can Why does he censor himself? I don't care himself? about TLC. But this is just not fun here to watch Wubby. Oh, here we go. I love all you do. But this this is trash, sorry. Oh, here we go. Like, dude, I, I'll be the first to say, right? My stream may not be for everyone, and you may have liked my stream a year ago, and you don't like it now. That doesn't actually hurt my feelings, and I respect if you're able to come to that decision yourself, right? I cannot respect you continuing to watch. I can't. You got to move on. It's auto sensors. Oh, okay. Wubby, uh, move on. Uh... About to go play Apex. Oh, that it. That's it. That's it. That's that's that says it all right there. That's <laughs> it. Look, you regarded diaper baby bitch. Why don't you hate donate five hundred subs? That'll make you me so mad. Oh man. Oh, that's I might it right move there. Move on to something else. Tell you what. Make it one thousand and go cry in your crib. Shadman's <sighs> a pido. Don't know why you'd have a name like that anyway. Ch I don't what? care about TLC, but this is just not fun to watch. Wubby usually love all you do, but this this is trash. Sorry. I don't Fun care about TLC. Won't subject themselves to pain willingly for years. About to right. go play Apex because sorry, Wubby, love you to death, but this shit is boring. Let's trigger him real quick. Hold on. <clears throat> I got you. This will really, this will scare him off if he's still watching this. Uh, a scrub is a guy that thinks he's fly and yes! is also known as a shadow. You stole my joke. All right, let me thank these subs real quick. I appreciate all the subs that came. You didn't have to do that. Can I give that money back? Skulldad, thank you for the 10. Appreciate you. Captain Spicy Wiener, The Faulty Channel, Runny Egg Yolk, thank you. Cujo, thank you. Oregon, appreciate you. Shady McLevin with the 40. Obviously, Dwayne with the 100. I don't know why. That was wild. Blue PT Cruiser, thank you. Jesus Christ. We're 50 more from Stime Strimers. All right, there you go. See, they do exist, guys. They do exist. That was crazy that we sniped that tonight. We jokingly... Man. Mods, if you see... I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck right now. Mods, if you see anyone being like kind of weird in chat... Honestly, Wubby, you have changed, and I cannot take it anymore. Okay. Anyways, here is some of my money. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, once a month. Right there. Um, Mods, give, take, a, take a peek at chat history every once in a while. That dude has been hiding for too long because... You know why he's gotten away with it for so long, chat? It's because too many of my actual fans talk to me the same way. <laughs> That's the reason. Too many of you are, like, done with talking to me the stream. same way. I'll just gift you more subs. You'll be sorry then. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sinister, thank you for the five. Thank you, C-Pain. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Miss Loveliness. Thank you, Steve-O, Asian Lambo. I just ignore the move-ons now, except that one got to me. <clears throat> All right, can we finish this fucking video, please? Jesus Christ, the video game market is crashing. Misgive is down 400k. To be fair, you do too. Thank Leafy P, thank stop giving subs. We're good. The point has been made. The guy is seething. Can we move on now? Yes, we can. Thank you, IBS Tupid. Thank you. Let's move on. It's boring as fuck, please. 
Jesus Christ, where were we? Up. When I made my assessment, I looked at the speed at which prices increased. I looked at who was involved in creating the market. I looked at how much market manipulation there was, and I compared that to similar bubbles in the past. And I believed that the prices were way too high, and Correct. were driven were almost inflated. entirely by speculation. Well, Correct. both opinions can't be right. Someone had to be wrong. It's been two years since I made that video, and I think that's enough time to check in with the market and see where it's at. And as it turns out, it's abysmal. It's dead. <gasps> oh, wait, no. I was completely correct. Oh, Since 2021, so sealed video game prices have plummeted. Across the entire board, prices are down 50 to 90% and sometimes even more. Some people lost hundreds of thousands of dollars on a single Matthew! game. And it wouldn't surprise me if some people lost millions in total. In today's video, we will take a look at some of the biggest losers. We will compare the price they bought the game at with the price they sold the game to see just how much money they oh lost. My God. And oh there my will God. be no excuse oh here because almost all of these purchases oh were made well after my video came out. The information was available and yet okay i see everyone saying what i'm thinking too his voice does sound ai just uh, on its own we should just get him on the the voice thing people continued to buy i really hope you enjoy thank you thank now you. legend it's that time ah! again when i tell you to look after yourself i'm not trying to be mean to him i already knew what he looked like but like this is an unfortunate reality for all faceless content does he have a bunch of graded video games you fucking traitor um you, you you have you picture them in your head and then they cut to themselves and they're always unfortunate looking. I think he's a handsome guy for the record. I'm just saying they're never what you expect. It's like when we saw Black Jesus for the first time. Leafy moment. Exactly. Exactly. People like to cry and claim that I'm saying that video game collecting is a scam or that video game grading is a scam. This is usually just an emotional reaction because it's not based on anything I've ever said. I love video game collecting, and I also buy graded video games. I Traitor! want the world's population to love video games so much they become extremely valuable. This is because I want people to love the things I love. That's just human nature. What I despise is people who don't really care about video games just using them to try and make money. They buy a game and try to sell it to someone else for a higher price. These people add nothing of value to society. They prey Damn. on the love and passion people have for gaming and use their wealth as a weapon to steal money from others. Speculation is the problem. Not collecting, not grading, not auction houses, just greed. The only way this practice stops is if people start losing money, which is why all of the following examples are great for collectors. So I don't have to keep repeating myself during the video, all of my comparisons will be for the same game, the same print, and the same grade in order to make the comparisons as relevant as possible. Very Oftentimes good. Oftentimes as well, even the same copy. Let's begin with an absolute doozy. Madden NFL is a popular sports series that has been running for Damn. over 30 years. Damn. And its first installment came out in 1990 for the Sega Genesis. And it looks so real. Like, am I looking at footage? Am I going to get claimed? I mean, Jesus Christ, we got blue team and red team. Often with popular franchises, Crazy. the first game in the series is highly valued. And in January 2022, a copy sold for $480,000. Heritage Auctions really hyped this game up, even including a video explaining how rare and amazing it was. Oh, what? God! I don't, I mean, kind of an aggressive shot to show it off A here. year later in January of 2023, a copy sold for $21,000. Yikes, bro! Oh my God, I would. That's it. I'm, 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 I'm new snacking, dude. Thousand six hundred, a ninety-six percent drop in value, and a loss of almost half a million dollars in twelve months. Oh, Tomb Raider is a classic. The franchise is very God. popular and one of the few gaming IPs that transitioned relatively successfully to the big screen. And it all started with the nineteen ninety-six release on the PlayStation in July twenty twenty-one. A nine point so four. Chat, I'm sorry, but four eighty to twenty-one is. I hope that guy is a multi, 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 multi millionaire. I, I mean, that's, that's, that's like some suicide watch shit. That's so bad. All right, this one's 144K. Or a copy sold for $144,000. Okay. Two years later, a 9.4 A++ copy, a copy that has an even better grade, sold for just under $5,000. Oh my God. 
D this is like historic losses. Holy fucking shit. Dollars. And I will say this. I, I think this is where they're actually valued at, right? I could see one of these, like I was saying, being a few thousand. A few thousand, right? And that's, you know, a maybe a little less. A 97% drop and a loss of $140,000. And this past damn. weekend, a 9.4 A plus copy sold for just 4000 Resident Evil is another hugely popular franchise. The survival horror series includes some amazing games. And again, it's another gaming franchise that did fairly well after it made the transition into movies. Resident Evil started with the 1996 release on the PlayStation. In October 2021, a copy of the original Resident Evil sold Why? for 264000 uh, Y'all should have seen this shit coming, dude. $265,000? Are you kidding me? dollars. This was the long box variant, which is rarer and attracts a much higher price. Several days ago, on November 3rd, the same <laughs> copy sold for $38,400, a loss of over $200,000. Oh now, when I say the same copy, I mean it's literally the same copy. This Resident Evil is from the Dreamer Collection, and we can also tell it's the same copy from the identifier on the back. But what's interesting is that it's even the exact same picture that was used in both auctions. <laughs> that's Heritage just, auctions that's, that's always take photos wound, of the items they receive. So if it's the same photo, that means it never left heritage auctions someone bought this game for 264th straight up investor that means they okay yeah so i bought shit from like pwcc auctions and what they'll do is they'll say you don't have to pay tax or you don't have to pay something you don't have to pay something we keep it at the auction house and if you want to resell it it's faster easier there's no fees you just keep it there right i bought in did i say bought in i retarded uh every time i buy stuff from them i get it shipped to me because uh, th that is like the most degenerate investor shit ever. Like, dude, come on. You don't even want to hold it? You don't even want to touch it? Like, so, that is just so degenerate investor stuff right there. Like, no, keep it there. I don't even need to see it. I'll sell it in 10 years. Thousand dollars. Kept it in the Heritage Vault for two years. eBay Vault. I, I, so put, if you have something and you send it to the vault, that's one thing. If you buy something and keep it in the vault, I find that crazy. You don't want to hold it? years and then sold it for $38,000. I assume they kept it at Heritage because they were hoping to flip it through a later auction. That's what I just said. That's what I just said. But boy, did that backfire. And this might not be the Man. only game this person incurred Thank a huge Schnipples loss on. Jake, there were Bam. several other games that were also bought in the same auction on the 29th of October 2021 that went up for resale <laughs> on November 3rd. And they were also the same copy and used the same picture. This almost certainly means they all belong to the same person. Person. October 29, 2021, a Zelda 2 sold for $102,000. Okay. Same copy, same picture, sold on November 3rd for $14,400. October right? 29, 2021, a Russian attack sold for $43,200. Why the fuck would Russian attack be selling for $43,000? November 3, 2023, I same can't even copy, believe it's pulling 78! Sold for $7,800. October 2021, a Twisted Metal sold for 87000 November 2023, it sold for 17000 Not bad. Not a bad. Final Fantasy, originally bought for 18000 sold for 6600 There I mean, could be that, more. These are still terrible losses. Like, you gotta understand. If you're an investor, that's you're cooked. You or, lost everything. But in just those five games, this person lost $430,000. And the amazing thing is they never even got to see the games they bought. <laughs> Now to everyone's favorite game, Tecmo Bowl. Of all of the NFL games ever released, this was definitely one of them. In January 2022, a 9.4A Plus sold for $144,000. Just uh -oh. over a year later in April 2023, a 9.6A Plus, a game in better condition, sold for less than $5,000. What really stings about this is it was in better condition than the 144. So that means the guy who has the $144,000 one can't even get 4900 for it. A drop in value of almost 97%. This next example isn't as much money, but just goes to show that even obscure titles were going for ridiculous prices. In July 2021, at the peak of the bubble, this Poke... Y'all are buying Wii games? Now that is... You are... You are a broken human. If you, I can even sort of get behind vintage stuff, but we, 
That is a, you are a broken individual. But we went for 22,800. What? Two years later, it sold yeah, for 600 yeah. bucks. That's where I would put, I would put it at under a thousand dollars. That's a drop in value of 97.4%. Likely the biggest percentage drop of any game sold on Heritage Auctions. We definitely need to show wow. Sega some love. And what better way to do it than by Sonic. looking at the original release of Sonic the Hedgehog on the Genesis. In Not October 2021, a copy sold stop, for $312,000. Just over a year later in November 2022, a copy sold for 38000 a loss oh of almost $300,000. And this sale was a year ago. Who the Pokemon Wii game is currently on, it's currently on sale on eBay right now for 40 bucks. Who knows how much lower this would sell for today? Here is an even crazier example though. In September 2021, a 9.4A sold for $420,000. This prompted the creator of Sonic, Yuji Naka, to ask if it was some kind of scam. In July of 2023, a slightly higher graded copy sold for $28,800. A loss of almost $400,000 and a 93% drop. You know, part of the thing too was, okay, so two things could be happening here. One, the prices were like super fake inflated and now nobody cares anymore. What I think actually happened was that these sold for this and then dudes who have fucking pallets of this shit sealed because there were millions of copies, dudes who own games, whatever, like there's probably thousands, tens of thousands of these sealed. So suddenly the market's flooded with these and the dude holding the $400,000 copy sees 40 more for sale. Oh, fuck. Uh, why did I buy that? Hey, at least some of these people didn't get eye damage on top of it. Yeah, TT, that is a silver lining. They didn't get eye damage. Anything else we want to add? What the fuck? Drop in value. Mario Kart 64 is obviously a classic and is definitely one of the more sought after games Huge. on the Nintendo 64. I, I want that game. In April yeah. 2022, a 9.6 A++ copy sold much. for $144,000. In November 2023, a 9.8 A++, a higher graded copy, sold for wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. They're saying NFT. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can somebody let me in on it? Did, did some NFT bro like lose his eye or something? Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Is his name Basie? I don't know how to say this. Did a party and the UVC bulbs gave a bunch of people eye damage? A bunch of bored ape people? <laughs> what? No way. Oh, bored ape yacht club. Okay, okay. No way, bro. At TTT T 2468, that was a good reference to the NFT conference, Kiki Baby. There you go. TT, W's in chat for TT. A loss of well over 100,000. The original Smash Brothers is another grail for the Nintendo 64. Oh, yeah, he, one I want sold this. in July 2021 no. for $144,000. This one probably then, has still some the value. The exact same copy, and we know hey, it's Wubby, the same. little fun fact having a central clearing agent like an auction house vault is pretty how the stock market works in a reductive sense. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but what I'm saying here is that these are, I feel like these are fungible. No, maybe that's not the right word. What I'm saying is like when you buy these, not I, I can't understand people buying these uh, and not wanting to tangible. Thank you. Not wanting to hold them and, and play with them and look at them like, you know what I'm saying? I, I got cards today in the mail. I got some cards that I bought. OK, and I I want to hold it. I want to look at it. I want to touch it I, I, like if I never got that opportunity, it would have less value to me. Show. Alpha Badlands. Copy because of the barcode on the back sold for 15,000 in January. Have to give a shout out to the original Zelda. Definitely a grail Morning. for the Nintendo Use Entertainment. Heat lamps and plant grow lights that are meant for industrial farming for their party. Because it's cheaper? It oomph. What fucking idiot. System. This example is interesting because there were two sales, both for the exact same grade and for the exact same amount. A 9.6 A plus copy sold in October 2021 and another in January 2022, both for $156,000. And several days ago, one sold for just $14,000. A loss of more than 90% and $140,000. I, 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 Ms. Kiff, like, I, I might, I want to hit him up actually to see what he owns. This is, this is like really bad for him, right? Like he lost like hundreds of thousands. Like you guys said 400K. I anyone at that convention I, saw that coming. <laughs> I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he lost more than that. Like that, like, this, this is bad, bro. 
He owns some of these, but what price point did he get them at? Offer to buy them? <laughs> Should I hit him up like I did Boogie? Hey, hey, bro! <laughs> um, is it just me or a ton of them seem like they're selling for 14000 Even these might be inflated, brother. That's the thing. Each. Ironically, the biggest total loss happened well before the bubble even burst. Here it is. Here, this is the one I wanted to see. 1.5 million. Plus plus Super Mario 64 sold for 1.5 million dollars. Then just a couple of months later, a copy sold for 800,000. Still, a that's already like disastrous for, for if you're the investor who bought it at 1.5. Huge amount, but a loss of $700,000. Mrs. Live getting on a call. I'm not going to interrupt his stream to get him on for a call to be like, hey, bro, how much money are you down? Like, is it really bad? Are you like, are you struggling? Like, is it hard? Like, not financially, but like mentally, is it hard for you? Are you in anguish? Hold on, wait. Here's a clip of him live reacting to how much he's down. Put this off stream just in case. This is like an old clip. This was clipped four hours ago. What? How did? You, how does this clip already have? What? Why does this exist? This is the exact copy I have of my Mario Mario Super Smash Brothers. The exact copy. I bought mine for thirty grand. Okay. So okay, good. He did not pay top dollar prices. That's good. Four thousand dollars. Then the exact Why same is the other video playing? Why is two million playing? Play? Shut up! Why? Exactly so what's happening? Plus plus for today, but we can use a different. I'm gonna start that over. I don't know what just happened this there. This is the exact copy I have of my Mario Mario Super Smash Brothers. The exact okay. copy. I bought mine for thirty grand. Okay. Four thousand dollars. Then oh. the. He's playing a video. Exact same copy, and we know it's the same copy because of the barcode on the back, sold for 15000 in January. Oh, Miz. This is the exact... Oh, fuck, bro. That is an instant, instant 15k loss. Oh, buddy. And I mean, he has so many of these fucking games, too. Different grade to estimate. On the same day as the record-breaking sale, an 8.5 A Plus Super Mario 64 was sold for 31,400, and several days ago, one sold for 3,360, a drop of around 90%. Seeing as this is in line with all of the other examples, a 9.8 A Plus Plus would probably sell for between 150 to 200 thousand dollars. Though of course, it could even be lower. What's for sure, though, is that the original buyer has almost certainly lost well over a million dollars a lot of people lost a lot of money but the people that got in early or the collectors who sold when the time was right became rich overnight prices Literally. haven't completely Literally. gone down to where they were before the bubble but i don't think they will there are no, now multiple auction houses and multiple grading companies all still trying to build the market what will be interesting to see though is the result of the water games class action lawsuit which is still ongoing we at least now know there was. If that comes up negative for them, this one this is going. It's it's over. If it comes out that they did manipulate the market, you're all. Every, it's it's done. It, I mean, it's over for them. As a bubble, what is yet to be determined <clears throat> is if anyone will be found responsible for its making. Thank you so much for watching. You. Let wow. It. They certainly did. Of course they fucking did. You know, and that's the thing. That's why I felt a little bit more safe about getting into magic is because it, it, it on paper, at least it makes more sense, right? There isn't enough of these in existence for everyone in the world to have one. It's nine o'clock. Holy fuck. Okay. We're just going to watch this clip then of Boogie. Oh my God. We'll just watch the, the critical clip of it. It's so goddamn late. Um, Okay, let's let's okay, so I'll just show you the clip. Wow time. It's wow time, baby. You know it's wow time. Come on. It's 9-11, make a wish. Okay, I did. I wished for 9-11. I don't know why I did that. Well, at least now it won't come true. Didn't you just wake up? Bro, no. I've been up since 10 a.m., dude. Early day. You're a yapaholic. Um, but we are gonna be doing uh uh we have the spelling bee coming up and we have the wow grid stream coming up as well. Also, uh we are going to be doing the uh, um, the haunted house stream, so hopefully this month because we waited till after October for the prices to drop. It wasn't worth like eight grand. Sorry, God, I'm an alcoholic. I hear you. TT messaged me. He messaged me an image. Uh, what is this? Why do we? Who is this in chat? 
Do we care? Is this someone we should be making fun of? What is this? Why, TT, why did you link me this? Okay. Um, I'll send it with this. You guys have probably already seen Alux. this clip. Do you think that hate watcher <laughs> subbed enough to pay for your card? Rip bozo. <laughs> you guys are so happy to shit to on this guy. the live cult lamp equal sign of equal sign. The equal sign. Guild death announcements on stream. It would be funny to see them correlate to people watching content and dying for it. The problem with that is people will kill themselves, make a name that will pop up on stream, and then they'll kill themselves so it pops up. You see what I'm saying? Uh, late night, no cam, wow stream. Okay, I hate to break it to chat. You want me to kill the illusion right now? I'm not going to get off and go play well. I'm going to get off. I'm probably going to have a quick dinner. Then I'm going to run to the gym. Then after the gym, I'm going to come back, and I'm probably going to get on a call with Booty and uh, Peanut and Carlos. We're going to talk about odd jobs and the spelling bee. And then after that, I'm going to start playing WoW all night. That's the reality. Okay. Unfortunately, that's reality. Let me show you this clip. This is the, this is the main clip I want to show you. First off, go watch the documentary. Go watch the Boogie documentary. It's so worth it. It's so good. But this is the one clip that's going everywhere. This is the clip that Critical talked about. And this is the one I want to show you because it's so fucking funny. So Boogie is losing it all. He's washed up in this documentary. He's, 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 he cannot make money off YouTube anymore, and it's all kind of crumbling in, and he's this professional victim. So the documentary uh, guy, the guy running it, was like, let's, uh, let's get you a job. Let's get you set up with like a job agency to actually get you where you need to be to make money so you don't lose your house. Here is that interview, and I got to tell you guys, this is one part saddest thing i've ever seen but this is two parts maybe the funniest ever bit of footage i've ever seen in my entire life you ready don i'm boogie or steve okay uh, yeah. what do you prefer to be called honestly steve. probably steve let's go with steve okay steve no problem whatever you prefer and so you are here today because you are seeking employment yeah you're seeking out new work opportunities absolutely tell me a little bit about your background and where you think you want to go with the experience that you already have. Um, I did work at a small gaming store back in 2006, 2007. I am disabled, <laughs> uh, recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States government. There's that. Now, the, the downside to that is I am extremely depressed. So there's some mental health issues that we bring to the table. And then physically, uh, I, I am morbidly obese. I have no references, uh, no work history, and no education, and when you Google my name... Like, I'm fat and retarded. Also, she lets out this big sigh here because she was clearly going to say something, and he just does... He steamrolls over it with like, well, hold on, I'm not done. I'm not even close to done. Rest. So there's some mental health issues so, that we're going to the table. Uh, um, and then physically, mm -hmm. uh, I, I am morbidly obese. I have no references, uh, no work history, and no education. And when you Google my name, you might see rumors that I beat my ex-wife and I am also a pedophile. Should mention them. <laughs> uh, right? Boys, go, you gotta watch it tonight. It's only an hour long and I'm telling you right now, it should have been three. It, it's so good. Also a felon. Okay. Uh, What's the nature of your felony? Aggravated assault. How old is it? About two years. Okay. So I think there are some avenues you could explore. I definitely don't think it's impossible, but you have some challenges. Yeah. Lots of things in life are about your mindset and you're using weight and disability. Go off. Put him in his place, bro. If that is the attitude that you're going to have when you approach everything, then you can't and you won't. I did work in the porn industry for the better part of seven years, so I mean... Be real with me. Do you really think it would be a good idea to go to a real interview and reference porn? It depended on the job, I would think. Like, at a strip club. See, this is the thing, right? It's, so, it's easy to feel bad for Boogie, and then you get to... Oh, this is going to sound so mean. It's easy to feel bad for Boogie, and then you get to know him. And I know that sounds mean, but like, he's just fucking stupid. Um, I'm gonna show you one other clip because I don't even care at this point. And to all my 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 to all the VOD boys, you're feasting. All right. Um, this this frustrated me. I saw some a non in chat say this is your future. And I'm gonna tell you why it's not right. Uh, you know, everybody has a career that has ups and downs, and and you know, as Eminem said, sad, but it happens to all of them. It would chicka chicka, right? And I'm not worried about that. 
that's fair. I've had a good run and I'm happy, right? But the difference is, is that Boogie is just, is, is, I will show you. In this, you will notice he, he he's not making enough money to even cover rent, which, by the way, I don't know how he got into this position to make, we're at 1052. No way! I don't know how he got into position to be making millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and now be broke. You have to be so financially irresponsible, right? But in the beginning of it, he talks about how he spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on prostitutes, which is just shocking to me. I don't even know how you do that. Um, and he also lost like, yeah, he lost another 600,000 in crypto. I don't know how you do that. If every investment of mine went to zero right now, everything I'm invested in went to nothing, zero, which is not even possible, but let's say it went to zero, um, I would still be fine. Why are you investing things? Why are you investing more than you can lose? You're so stupid. But regardless, this is the part where you stop feeling bad for him. I'm going to play this one quick thing. Watch the whole thing. I'm not going to go through it all, but this is another interesting part that really drove me crazy. And uh, I made some money off of YouTube last month, but I did not make enough without a sponsor or something like that. I just, I'm not making enough. So we're going to go to the game shop. His earnings from YouTube were $29.50. Not a lot. Not great. Not for someone with 5 million subs. Monthly expenses, 6500 You get 200 strippers for $1,000 each and do them all at once with your morbidly obese cock. My PB don't work like that. That's a lot of a monthly expense. I don't know what you're spending this money on. You'll see too, throughout this documentary, bro has no, he doesn't have two pennies to run to rub together and he goes through the fucking Taco Bell drive through You're not poor if you're eating fast food. You're not, okay, you could be more poor. Let me be more clear. There's a lot of poor people eating fast food. You could be more poor. Trust me, bro. I remember when fast food was the treat. The McDonald's fucking budget menu, the dollar menu was treating myself, bro. You know, how, let me tell you right now. I promise you, I promise you, if you're getting fast food, okay, you have some expendable income. You're not rich. You're not rich. But watching Boogie have no money for rent and going to get fast food, I wanted to fucking strangle his neck, dude. Like, what are you doing? Uh, here we go. But this is going to keep me from going out on the, uh, the Okay, so he's got to sell right? magic cards to not be homeless. House. Okay. So, I think, he, I think it's bittersweet. I think he would find it bittersweet. He would have wished I'd... I'm selling magic cards on whatnot. I'm selling collectibles on eBay. I'm selling arcade machines locally. But he won't sell in my DMs. You know? He, he baited me. He led me on. Boogie, come on. I'll sell it all. And I'm going to sell enough to help with mortgage. This part. But I'm also going to sell enough to be able to play Magic tonight. Because I don't want people wondering why I'm not there. I don't want people, like, knowing I'm broke. Like, that's embarrassing. I can't afford $30 to play Magic. Boogie. Steven. He wants to be called Steven. You, but you can't afford it. If you can't afford the Friday Night Magic draft... You can't afford it. This shit drives me crazy. So I'm spending 30 bucks to play Magic tonight. Okay, so this month I need from you about $1,000 to make mortgage. So I need you to pick out like $1,000 for the stuff. Like there's a couple of cradles in there. Mm -hmm. There's a city of traders in there. Well, also, also, he gets fucking hosed here. I'm gonna be real. This dude hoses the fuck out of him. Especially Boogie, I would fast food is a convenient street. I, I would have, I would have paid you more than this, Boogie. I could do two hundred a piece on this. That's crazy. Anyone knows anything? Is my does anyone in my chat even understand how much of a hose that is? What the fuck? What? <laughs> Dude, I thought we were looking more like 400, 450. Better. On each of mm -hmm. these. 175 is what it's down to. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Those Good took lord. That took a beating. Fuck. These are reserved list cards, Glenn. Yeah. They're not going anywhere but up. Okay. Well, you say that, but the dual lands went down. I mean, yeah. All right. As long as I'm getting mortgage money, as long as I'm getting some cards there tonight, okay. He, he, he was, was expecting a thousand dollars from this, right? He was expecting a thousand dollars from this, and he only got four hundred. And he's still gonna spend thirty on fucking. 
until Magic. I come back in here because I'm not going to sell them anybody else for you. Okay. Two. No, make it three chicken quesadillas. What's paying for this? Shit, you're paying me back on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Like, listen, I'm not going to poverty shame here, but you need to watch this doc and it's just going to frustrate you. It's just going to, it's going to dry. It's like, if you showed this to someone who doesn't know Boogie, they'll be sitting there going, they'll feel bad for him. And then there's a turning point where you start to realize like, wait a minute, you're here because you put yourself here. I have one last thing I want to say before I leave stream tonight. All right. I have, a, I have a call to action. I do think Boogie can make a huge comeback and I know how he can do it. And I would, I would pay for it all. I'd pay for it all because I, be, I believe in Boogie's comeback. I'll tell you how you could do it. And this might sound stupid and you might not agree with me, but I actually think this would solve it. You ready? If Boogie went dark on his YouTube and, 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 and Twitter, he just went dark, just disappeared for like eight, nine months. Okay. Go watch the doc too. You'll agree with me more after you watch it. And Boogie comes back fucking ripped. I'm talking best shape of his life. Better shape than everyone in chat. Not only that, he comes back positive vibes only. Does a commentary video, shows his journey, talks about his mental health, talks about how good he's doing, talk about he got a job, his bills are paid. If Boogie came back in shape, good mood, excited, not self-hating, not professional, what did they call it in the movie? narcissist some, if he just comes back looking great i'm not farting i'm, I'm what was that sound I'm, I'm playing with cards i'm sorry he would be back baby if you watch this shit he's in it he's talking about how he has this really sad moment with his girlfriend where they're like both crying and he's like i'm not gonna live and and i'm really ill and blah 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 and there's nothing i can do and i'm here i'll show you this clip actually is this after they bathe together i don't want you to see it okay here we go how much i can't stop talking about it here watch 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 Watch, 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 watch. His girlfriend, by the way, is 20. It's really weird. I mean, my biggest fear is dying on her. If I die- My biggest night, fear is dying on her. Two or three years on her, that's just gonna ruin her life. Right, it's gonna ruin her life if you die on her. It's true. I really want you to understand how actually sick I am. Like, I don't know if you actually get it, but this is my health summary. Strange thing to just drop on someone, but okay. This is- everything that's currently wrong with me my risk for stroke or heart attack is astronomical i am essentially a walking time bomb hey babe here's my lab results if you were wondering do you want to get some dinner and, and look at my lab results and i'm so fucking sorry for that okay this part i really really wish I had taken better care of my body. She's bawling. <laughs> this is the cursed I got TB scene. I'd be ready for it, but I know. Yeah, so for, if out of context, those just joining us, this is Boogie and his daughter. They're sitting on a porch outside, and he's explaining to her that he's not going to get to watch her grow up. Uh, he's not going to get her, you know, walk her down the aisle and give her off to someone her age. He's not going to get to, and he's apologizing for it. Um... But yeah, he has a kid. This is her. So, no, but here's my problem with this scene. It, what really bothers me about this scene, I, this is his girlfriend, but him apologizing for his health while I swear to God, 10 minutes later, man is eating fucking McDonald's with her. Like, dude, you don't need to apologize to her. Just fucking fix it. I was, I was sitting here watching this, screaming at my fucking TV, going, if this man went to a 2,000 a day calorie diet, half his health problems would disappear. I'm mad. I'm screaming right now because I'm so fucking furious about it. 2,000 calories a day, half your fucking health problems are gone, right? Just enough to get you mobile. If you, I can't walk. I'm too fat. 2,000 calories a day. You're, you're going to be mobile in time, right? Then, Wubby, you're not being empathetic. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Wubby, it's not that simple. Yes, it is that simple. Yes, it is that simple. Yes, it is that simple. I'm sorry it is. It is that simple. He is not gaining this much weight because he's eating healthy. 
No, you're wrong. It is that simple. Watch the fucking documentary. Every little bit of food he's eating is fast food. Watch the fucking documentary. It is that simple. It is that fucking simple. If he goes to the doctor right now, you know what they're going to tell him? You need to eat better. It's his diet and it's... What? What? You're trying to tell a former fat guy it's not that simple? Bro, I'm still fat! It's that simple! Man just ordered three quesadillas. That's excessive. I don't care what you're saying about, about, oh, well, this is causing him to gain weight. You know what's also not helping? His diet, right? I'll say this. If Boogie sat down and he said, Wubby, I am eating 2,000 calories a day. I'm eating clean. I'm eating low carb, low fat, low sugar, high protein. And I'm, it's not working, right? Cool. Then that, you know what? Then that's different. But we know that's not what's happening here. This whole scene of him sitting down, apologizing to his girl that he's going to die. He's going to die on her. It's going to ruin his life. You should feel ashamed, bro. You should be ashamed. It's, I didn't say it was easy. I said it was simple, chat. I didn't say it was easy. Okay? A lot of fat cope in chat right now. I'm a fat guy myself. It's not easy. It, I'm printing something with my foot. I didn't say it was easy. I said it was simple. And if I did say easy, I apologize. And I take that back. Okay? Um... He's obviously making mistakes, but you might as well be telling a heroin addict. No, fuck you, dude. I, it's not even close to the same as a heroin addict. How dare you? How dare you? So you're telling me I beat heroin because I stopped getting Wendy's, bro? Go talk to a real heroin addict, okay? How dare you? Goddamn. I'm just, this scene is so frustrating to watch. As you, you know, I'm going to die on you. It's like, why is, I'm printing something with my foot. Legit, I'm, something is printing right now with my foot. Listen. I don't, I don't even know what to... Okay, here we go. All right. Listen, I... I, I anything good? No, nothing. Um, <clears throat> he's telling her so that she doesn't leave him. That's crazy, bro. I just, I just want to shake him. Like, and I want to shake her too. Here's all my health issues. I'm dying. Do you want to go get McDonald's? Really wish I had taken better care of my body. You can. You still can. You have time. You're alive, my brother. You can. Capping you still... your daily calories at 2,000 is the best thing you can do for your health. I doubt any of you sitting on your desk exert yourselves regularly enough to need more. Yeah, and they got bigger problems if they're not sitting in their chair and they're sitting on their desk. They got bigger problems, man. They're confused, you know? <laughs> They got bigger. Dude, my dad so lost so much weight in his 50s. You know that? My dad used to be a big, fat, fucking fat. So, And my dad went to the doctor, and they were like, you're fat, you're going to die young. And he went, okay, and he, and he fixed it, right? Not easy. He worked hard. It wasn't easy, right? But being old is not an excuse. Um, I, I don't understand how a dude with this wealth doesn't, have, doesn't own his own house. Why is he renting? He, he, it's a mortgage. He's not renting. I know. <laughs> I'll never be ready for it, but I know. <laughs> They're preparing for his death. I don't want you to be alone. I don't want you to be alone. Okay. <laughs> I've talked to my therapist since me and her have been together about overcoming it. My therapist keeps telling me the same thing. When you learn to love yourself... All these things will fall into place and we just got to teach you those skills. And then I turned to my doctor and I'm like, what do we do? He's like, you've had bypass surgery. You, you lost 200 pounds. What more can I do for you? I'm like, fix it, dude, help fix it. And then they're telling me that I'm the one that has to fix it. I there you go. So you hear that? His doctor just said, you're the one that has to fix it. Yeah. I bet your doctor's looking at you going, Hey boss, you got the bypass. You lost some weight. You got to fix, you got to clean up your diet now. And he's going, what do I do? And the doctor's going, hey, man, I'm, I'm t you have to fix it. And he's going, what do I do? Bro, the doctor answered it. It's, it's literally right there. And I don't want to be clear. If you're in chat right now and you're overweight, I don't give a fuck. You're not in this documentary crying to your girlfriend publicly, right? I'm not going to judge or comment or even give two shit thoughts about anyone in chat who's overweight, living their life. I don't give a fuck. Live your life. I don't give two shits. But if you're in a documentary bawling publicly to your girlfriend saying your goodbyes because you're too fat, there's nothing I can do. Bro, yes, you can. What do you mean? This is manipulation. There's so much you can do. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And I'm making less and less every month. And I'm scared shitless. 
I mean, that's my that's my that's my uh, that's my boogie fix right there. Boogie disappear for six to eight months. Come back fucking in shape, jacked with positive vibes. I guarantee people will start watching you again. I know. I will start watching you again if you come back in shape, good vibes, keeping it real, positive only, no pity. Take accountability and move on. I, you know what, dude? I, I don't even care. Let's pump you full of everything. Let's see how far we could push you, right? Can you come back looking like Sam, just jacked? Oh, my God. I'm there. I'm there, right? All right, buddy. Have a nice night. I'll see you Friday. I just want to talk about that real quick. Goodbye. Love you. Thank Damn. We cooked four hours. See